and the recording's live. All right, perfect. So I just need JC and Seth to get in roll 20. Oh, uh, sorry. I brought it up and then never logged in. That is usually helpful. Yeah, you have to be in roll 20 to see the things on roll 20 that you need to see. Yo, what's that place? Is it Smoothie King? Smoothie King, yeesh. Sorry, I was trying to monitor uh, stream stuff. You're all good, man. I'm in there like swimwear. Perfect. So do you, all, you guys can all see the Pokemon picture? Yeah, we can all Kyogre. see the big Kyogre. All right, perfect. So, Pokemon picture? This yeah, is the generic, just... that generic blue ocean picture that we saw. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So it should have just switched over to a map? Nope. You have Don't to drag the it. player's tab. There's a little, like, bookmark. Grab the player's tab and drag that over. Is there a way for me to memorize? Oh, uh, okay. I see it. That's how you can uh, see different things, but we can't. Okay. Oh, I can I just, move these. I just realized it's still my cyberpunk guy as my profile picture. Oh, I like That's it. fine. Um, so this, everyone can see the map now? Yeah. All yes. Right. So this is Trinitas. Uh, the region that we'll be, we'll be partaking your adventures in uh, oh, over yeah. this campaign. Uh, I don't know if all of you read the Google Doc, um, but just to oh, summarize sorry. it, no, it's a uh, yeah, it was back before character creation, but it's a very, I guess, unexplored area. Most of the people here are very low key, it's low maintenance. The new world. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Essentially, they are very one with Pokemon. Uh, they are very traditional in their beliefs. A lot of their uh, customs and things come from the creation story about Arceus, Dialgia, and Pacquia, and they believe this is kind of the Garden of Eden or the cradle uh, in which Hisui. life began. Yeah, I was um, going to say, is it similar to Hisui in the fact that, like, like the way they interact with Pokemon and stuff, or uh, it's more modern than Hisui, so it's still like I would say modern times, but it's not industrial like you would see in like there's not many New Yorks or Chicago's or places like that. Uh, they are much more partners with Pokemon than masters of Pokemon, um, and it kind of there it has all of their. Pretty much every ecosystem you can think of. Um, if you see in the bottom left corner, Bitter Bank, that is where we will be starting the story. But if you guys would like to introduce your characters to one another, what kind of motivates you and what you're looking to get out of this campaign, we can do that first. Starting from left to right? Oh, uh, yeah, we'll start with Gala. Sure, I'll go first. Um, so I'll be playing... Excuse me. Uh, Slater, who's a... Um, Really just kind of the surfer character. Um, so just kind of along for the vibes, bro. Um, starting off with a Squirtle. He does have his Squirtle Squad sunglasses. Um, we just kind of like find beaches, hang out, surf, you know, make enough money to support our surfing habits. Um, and yeah, that's about it. I don't really have any specific end goals. You know, just try and... There's a couple Pokemon that I'd like to bring into the squad, but past that i'm just uh i just want to hit as many waves around the island as i can jc so uh who's next should be jc Seth's oh, okay. next on my screen yeah my line too oh, i mean okay, i don't we'll mind do, we'll, we'll do yeah, go ahead. yeah let's do me seth kevin jc oh are you going on roll 20 jerry i see what you're doing yeah 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 okay oh, so I'm Seth. I'm playing Alden Reiner. My goal is to be the league champion. And if there is no league established here, I'm going to help establish one and then be the champion of that. Perfect. I will be champion one way or the other. Yeah. <laughs> I dig it. I dig it. It's like creating um, your own martial art and then being like, yep, black belt. <laughs> yeah. The only one who knows it, but I'm still the best. Um, my name is Kevin. I will be playing the character Mason. Um, uh, my my starter is a Shinx, and I'm pretty happy-go-lucky by nature. 
Um, and I am a photographer slash aspiring filmmaker. So I like to take pictures of mostly like Pokemon related things. Um, so that's kind of my, my shtick. Camera going oh. wild. Notice he I said know. mostly. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? No, we're just mo- you notice you said mostly Pokemon related thing. Yeah. <laughs> well, the other things are Pokemon related, <laughs> either related or affiliate. Don't That's judge my to... my Jinx relationship. <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> um. Okay. So I guess I'm last. Uh, Fortunately, I am. Yes, I am JC. I will be playing as Knox. Um, I. Thought I made up my hometown, but upon further inspection or investigation, found out that it already exists in Pokemon where I wanted it to be anyway, so it works out. I am from Wisteria Town. Um, My parents died, and now I am looking to go on adventures and do crazy stuff. Um, uh, My end goal is to have songs written about me, stories written about me, and... uh, that's probably going to come along with being the best there ever was. So I too am going for a championship title. Hey, perfect. And I'm starting with a male Nidoran cause he's a thug. So. Oh, well, we're <laughs> going to list your starters. I forgot mine. Mine is a male Growlithe. Perfect. I have uh, not checked the gender of my Squirtle. That's a, that's a weird vibe check, bro. Well, I have to specify. Yeah, my you, you specifically have to specify. <laughs> you have an androgynous squirtle. <laughs> Behind the sunglasses, they could be anything. <laughs> yeah. My yeah. shit has a penis. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Cyberpunk <laughs> is next week, Kevin. That's is when we discuss the uh <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Sorry. The Mr. Wizard that you've attached to your uh Well, um, well your JC shape. lost his parents. I thought we were back in the Cyberpunk world. I was about to say there. he's now an honorable uh member of the orphan <laughs> yeah. since his character the here orphan. lost his yeah, parents. Right? He's an honorable uh, orphan. Yeah. You know, you can be I I was gonna give so many more details, and Kevin's like, Yeah, I surf, bro. And then I don't know. <laughs> you can have more details. Like, that's- Bro, just because my character is just here for the vibes doesn't mean your character can't have, like, major dreams and aspirations. Yeah, and his character is like, look player. at how much coastline there is, man. Bro, I just, waves I, can catch? I just want to have, like, this is my Tuesday where my brain gets to turn off a little bit. So if I can just, like, bro, let's go surfing, bro. Like, that's going to make my life so much easier on my day off. All right? Yeah, but you had to go with Slater, the sweatiest surfer name ever. Yeah, of course. <laughs> look. That's he's why we surf, because I get sweaty, and it's colder he in the water. <laughs> he gets a swampert, and he surfs those muddy waves. Hey, Jared, where can, yeah. we, where can I find the link to the, the document that you sent? Uh, oh, God. I, I'm Are looking for salad? This is This is why I specifically yeah. built us a Discord uh, text chat for Poker Roll, so you could just put our resources in there, but, you know, you do you, buddy. Well, I thought you might have had it in the Facebook chat, and I can't find it. Good fuck. We talked about ago. so much if you shit. Just type since in then. Google Doc; it should come up. Well, there's links here. To, well, I'm there's sure the Pokedex, not. but I I don't specifically. Yeah, all out was the Pokedex, and it said Growlithe was there, so I was like, all right, whatever else didn't really pertain to me. Because I'm I'm interested in information. Do you remember oh, Jared, seeing something? Yeah. Did, did you look into that uh, Poke Roll app I shared? Oh, I this didn't. This is the character sheet, huh? There's no. Because there's a the app actually has like a encounter generator. Oh yeah, that's uh that's on their website too. Uh, that's all GM GM stuff too. That's uh, all. Well, right. it's, a, it's an app I downloaded that I think someone created on their own. And you can just go in and... Right, yeah, it says it's unofficial, which, I mean, this is unofficial, but... Yeah, uh, I oh, put that link in the, a... in the Pokeroll thing, Kevin. There you go. Oh, you did? Nice. Should, okay. It should be in the Discord yeah. now. Um, okay. I feel like, not a weird thing, we should kind of also mention our character's age that we're representing. I thought we all agreed on 18. Yeah. 
ish. I wouldn't part of that. <laughs> I would. I would classify my age thing. as barely legal. Barely so, legal. Christ, dude. Okay, so if everyone's going around eighteen ish, I'll be twenty. <sighs> no, I'm not. I'm not be different. Yes. <laughs> All right, so you put it in the thing. All right, cool. cool yeah. Cool cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right, so all of you are now officially in Bitterbank. Dude, check oh, this out, bro. I like, I like this map. Control me, I was actually trying to find a map like this for our background for the poker roll thing, and then Seth's like, "Make a Pokedex," and I was like, "All right, now I'm gonna fucking hyper Seth." <laughs> the hours. Pokedex looks really dope, though. Like, the Pokedex does look good. You did a great did job, it. Kevin. Yeah, you really did. It was all Seth. He was he was the one being like, no, it's the wrong shade of green. Whoosh. But I got to figure it out. Wait. <laughs> Where's the Pokedex at? Is that the one that you just shared in the chat? Uh, just the background for the stream. Oh, 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 oh. I see, I see, I see. Yeah. I thought you were talking about you made an actual Pokedex because I thought about creating like an Excel document that we could use... Instead there is of one. PDF. There Instead already is of one. PDF. Is that Google Doc? No, I got to share the other one. Hold on. Uh, no, because you might want to lower your camera a little bit. Yep, give me just a second. No the, region, the region has the typical eight gems of varying types with an Elite Four and Champion, Seth. What? If you were no, red, right, you would have known that. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Nox. Well, during character creation, I, I guess he might have known it, but. There's the oh nice polka dot. Um, all right. So all of you were aboard the same ship. Got to be careful about the dabbing. It's yeah. kind of messing up our cameras. Oh, sorry. No, it's me. Oh, okay. And it's just me changing. It's fine. I got it. We're good. All right, so as you can see, Bitterbank is your typical coastal town. Uh, in the bottom left, or, um, around here is your shopping area. Uh, you have a Poka Center here. You have the uh, Professor's Center here. And then you have a gym here. So the so uh, U building is detail. the Professor? Yeah, the but one with the, the U. The, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be the Is professor. Is it just me or the circle's hella slow right now for some reason? Yeah, they're a little uh, slow. Okay. I just want to make I'm sure it wasn't something just weird on now. my stream. Or on my side. So would you guys like to do anything on the boat before you get off? Um, like, as you're arriving to port. So I'm just going to imagine how long of a trip have we been on? Uh... We'll call it, it's probably been, it's probably stayed overnight. It's probably been like two or three days. Okay. So since my goal is to basically become number one and I'm out trying to be outstanding here, I'm going to go around before we dock and just kind of introduce myself to as many people as possible. Perfect. You want me to uh, roleplay that? Yeah, I mean, you can, or uh, I was just seeing if anyone else wanted to do anything. I'm good for just uh, getting up. I mean, do we already know each other, realistically? No, I mean, the, probably... Well, I need to know... I don't I'm really know. I'm forcing I know myself where, to know everybody. <laughs> I know where JC is from. Gallo, you're from Alola, right? Yeah. All right, Seth, what region are you from? Um, what's the most modern region you would accept? You can, it can be any, uh, anything up to Galler. Uh, okay, so Unova. Unova, okay. Nice, good thing. Kevin, oh. do you know what region you're from? Um, let me see here. I'll tell you in a second. We got Kanto, Johto, Hoenn, uh, Unova, Galar. Yeah, hold on, hold on, bud, hold on. Oh no, oh no. You're using a lot nope. of big words. <laughs> um, Those Kevin's have small brains. Can I? Can I do Senna? You sure can. Oh yeah. 
Uh, so no, realistically, you guys probably have no idea who each other are, okay. except for now. Now you all know Seth, who is introducing himself as champ in the making on the boat. <laughs> I'll just res- so I'll got- just respond that if he needs uh like if you need any like water support or some surfing lessons, bro, just uh hit me up. And then I'll like write down my phone number on his arm. Absolutely. How dude. is it phones? Is it like is it like phone numbers? Yeah, you, can have doing- phone. Uh, you, have, you have a phone. You have a phone. Okay. Are we doing like the Rotom phone thing? It's probably not a Rotom phone, but I w- I would say you guys have cell phones. Oh, like a proper Let's cell phone. The, the, okay. The, the new yeah. Pokemon has cell phones. Yeah, they have Rotom phones. I would say you have like iPhones, the equivalent. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I'll, I'll write my number like on his forearm, like on the inside. Um, thumbs up. Hell yeah, brother. Yeah, it's uh, it's nice to meet you, man. I am a photographer slash filmmaker. If you ever need some some pictures taken of your your rise to fame, you just let me know, and I like to get nice shots of cool Pokemon. You will always be in my back pocket, man. Awesome. JC, do you want to do anything with him or? Um, yeah. So, since Mason is a photographer, film guy, um, I would like to introduce myself to him. So, uh, I'm Knox. I'm looking for exposure. Um, uh, you know, just trying yeah. to get my name out there. Yeah, absolutely, man. I'll be, I'll, I'll definitely, uh, I'll definitely like to help out with that. As long as I get to see some, some cool Pokemon, take some cool pictures. That's, uh, that's all that matters to me. Oh yeah, let's do it. So as you guys are saying that, you hear the horn of the boat start going off. And what's it hear... sound like? I'm not doing it. What's what's Mom. what's the what's the horn sound like? <laughs> Which boat? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you hear someone over the intercom. Uh, everyone, please prepare for Doc. We are now entering Bitterbank. Uh, welcome to Trinitas. Uh, so, so when you guys... I'm just going to be up there, arms crossed, just like waiting for us to make it to dock. port. <laughs> like, yeah. Do I have to uh, salute the ensign when I go across the brow? Don't act like any of these people know I, what those I, words mean. Besides I, don't, you I don't know what... Yeah, that, was, I know that what might have well been German. But no, I'm assuming you don't have to do that. He speaks uh, that we, too, conveniently enough. We had to we had to do that in the Navy. When we got off the boat, you'd have to yeah. request permission to go ashore. You have to salute the flag and ask permission. Yeah. Oh, permission no, to you, go ashore, granted. You, you have, want you to get the fuck off their boat. Yeah. <laughs> you, have, you have permission to get off this boat. Uh, That's as what you should you, have done as a sailor character. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. A semen. I, I should have done a sailor character. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Damn it, Kevin. You're fucking 31, bro. <laughs> God. No, I'm 32. That should not be that funny to you. All right. <laughs> all right. So all we're right. all off the boat now? Yeah. You guys have departed the boat. Um, the first thing you see when you get off is the town is booming right now uh people pokemon everywhere in between it is hustling bustling uh you almost are surprised at how many pokemon you see free roaming with their partners uh it is very unusual for other regions to just have so many it's almost like no one uses a pokeball uh and when you get off the first thing you see is a uh, what do they call them? Uh, words are hard. A tour, a tour guide. Uh, this little building here. Um, it's just a welcome, a welcome center to Trinitas. I'm just gonna beeline towards it myself. Yeah, headed yeah. there for the information on. The I'm gonna, I'm gonna open. I'm assuming all of our Pokemon are currently in Pokeballs. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna. Yeah. Let Squirtle out of his. In- okay, and I I believe if you go to your character sheets, I should have given all of your Pokemon a picture. Um, I don't see one. 
so, that might be on GM only because I'm not me. seeing one either. Okay, so yeah. How do you bring tokens out, Kevin? Um, so if you're on the the second tab, are you trying to like pull off our character sheet? Like, is it assigned to our character sheet? Yeah. Um, so if you go to the character sheet tab, so the third one over and then click whichever character you want and like mm -hmm. click and hold and then drag that over. Okay. I might be able to do my own. Yeah. So like I just drug my own over. Oh, well, no. it's like that, no, but not with the world map. They don't want to do that. So like this one's mine because I don't have a profile picture. I mean, I can grab one real quick, quick and upload it. Just add. My cats are being heathens. As usual. Okay, I'm sorry. What are we doing right now? I'm trying to figure out how to do. Oh, that's so. Oh, big. there's a Growlithe. That's so Dude. big. <laughs> That's my boy. That's a fucking growlith. <laughs> e everyone's is going to be that big. So <laughs> you can scale him down. Question my rise to championship. <laughs> he's, a, he's, a, he's a titan. <laughs> like already level five titan. <laughs> he's a big right, boy. How does that the small still go? Do I have to scale it down in the editor? No, you should just be able to, like, click it and then, like you just did. Just, like, grab the corners. Yeah, that's the smallest it's going to go. So that's still that's, 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 one, that's one grid size. Yeah, it's a square. So that's, yeah, that's as small as it's... You can technically alt-click it, and then it won't snap to grid. Um, but are you pulling the Pokemon, or are you pulling trainer characters, or do you have both? I only have the Pokemon because I didn't know what your trainer characters look like. I gotcha. Mm. An absolute Chad. I'm just kidding, but um, fucking. But not really. <laughs> but, but seriously. <laughs> yeah, um, but, but really. But here I can do this <laughs> and then. Chow. It should be. Oh no! Can I not drag because I don't have permission? Y'all both got DM rolls. I don't, but I wasn't sure if it would let me do it anyways. Ah. Uh, Avatar. Hey, look at that cute little boy, dude. Oh. It's the boy. Cool. Now I should have. Yeah, hey, buddy. I'm legit. All right, so I'm just going to get rid of the Pokemon right now until I can figure out a way to make them smaller. I think they're fine that um, size if they're grid by grid, if they're grid size. I think just getting them the backgrounds trans transparent is probably yeah. The, that's just gonna be a like PNG how, thing. Like how you, if you yeah. so I think hold on I can check it real quick. Like how you have Nidoran right now, he's see through yeah. the background, but Growlithe still had his square. So what might be the easiest workaround is make uh, the map like uh, bigger. But yeah, uh, that's, that's a pain in the ass moving that fucking map around. Yeah, it and is. making it line up with squares. Um. Jared, I'll work with you on that later. If you want to just... Um, we're just that we're that just, size isn't bad, though, where it's at. I've got the map blown up, and it's fine. Yeah, yeah. it's fine. Yeah, yeah it's I, don't have, I don't have any problem with them being by, like, one by one. Yeah, if you want Personally. to just rock it Even like if it's that, got... And we can, I can okay. work with you on, like, creating proper tokens for them and stuff later. Yeah. If you want to do that. Oh, I, did find your, I did find squirtle, your squirtle dude. with the... Oh, yeah. yes. Look at the squirtle. <laughs> Oh, with know. his glasses. Yeah. Thanks, though. Look at that. Look at that good boy. It's the boy. Oh, you got your surfer, that little surfer dude. Right yeah, there. I just uploaded him. I just went on Bulbapedia and grabbed the actual surfer sprite and then just loaded it in. Nice. And then just made it my avatar. Nice. All right, so everyone's heading to the welcome Third center. Guy. Yes. Um, yeah. So what's your... Probably going to need to do if you want us to move them is you're going to have to give us permissions to hold them. So if you click it um, and then well, hit the little around. cogwheel, uh, it should give you options of who can move what. I can't move Squirtle. Oh, 
Uh, so that's under details. Uh, well, if you if you click the picture that's on the map, uh huh, and then there should be the little cogwheel that pops up underneath it on the left. Yeah. Click that, and then in there it should say like in uh there should be like can be controlled by. Oh yeah. Gotcha. Look at that. You're already right. getting a promotion to uh, yeah. get more viewers to buy chatbots. Yeah. That's so funny yeah. how it's like, I'll literally offer you followers, viewers, chatbots, prices lower than any competitor, auto on, incredibly flexible, and convenient order management panel. Everything is in your hands. Turn it on, off, customize. Go to dogehype.com. Yeah, I feel so, like I don't go to dogehype.com. Like, those who are watching this, as, uh, yeah, later. don't do that. Yeah, right, dogehype.com. So can you guys, oh, can you guys all move move your Pokemon now? Yeah, oh, buddy. Yeah. I need to yeah. vibing, bro. Yeah, oh, yeah. The champion in the making is moving. So, anyways, uh, I'm talking to the tour So, anyway, I started blast. Yeah. So, anyways, fire types. Is this uh, a mostly grass village? I mean, there is a big grass uh, picnic area right here in the middle that uh, it will all be. They've, they, they've been in a little bit of a drought this year, you know. So <laughs> their port uh -oh. town is. Sorry, Jared. We're totally taking over your, uh, your game. <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> so I know Seth was going in. Yes. Was yeah. everyone else going in? Yeah, yeah, going in for information yeah. on the city. All right, perfect. So you guys walk in. A couple people pass by you going out. They had just gotten off the boat with you as well. Uh, How dare they? <laughs> uh, welcome to Trinitas, guys. Uh, what can I do for you? Uh, uh, yeah, me and my friends. We would love to get an idea of the city and uh, see what everything is, where everything is. Well, this is Bitterbank, and let me tell you, there is been no better day to join us than what you have today uh we actually are a part of the manaphy festival this year uh and not only is the president of the ascension Corps going to be here but also the region champion beck is going to make an appearance for all of his fans and he's kind of the what's the, what's the leader of a parade I'll say grandmaster of the events. I to say, I'm not a band guy, so I don't know. <laughs> the Grand Dragon. <laughs> not not the Grand Dragon. Oh, okay. The Lord Dragon. <laughs> so when does this uh like party start, bro? Like is it today? Uh, yeah, they should actually be setting up right now in the middle of town. Uh there is the Jubilee Garden. Uh, and you should pretty much be able to find it because everyone is heading there pretty soon. So it's hard to miss. Will the, Grand Marshal, uh, by the way. Grand Marshal, okay. Hey. Will the champion Beck also be there? Uh, yeah, he's the guest of honor. Uh, him and, like I said, the president of the Ascension Corps will be there. Uh, and and what, what's, his, what's his name? The president ben. of the Ascension Corps? Oh. Gareth. Gareth. Sure. Okay. Yeah, if you could point me that direction, I will be heading there very soon. I know. Yes. I know you wrote about Ascension Core in your little intro thing. Do we? Mm -hmm. Would we know about them from our other regions? Like, are they that big, or are they just big in this region? They're pretty much just big in this region. Okay. Um, but they are very big in this region. So, like, would so we know about that coming fresh off the boat? Uh, you probably like would have heard of something, but it would be a product that, or a company that you have, would have never interacted with. So you might have heard of it, but you're probably just very unfamiliar with what they do. So, so like, so in ascension. in character, I would like to ask the the tour guide lady at the welcome center, like what? So <laughs> like, what's the Ascension Core all about? You keep talking about them, how great they are, and that's all I've heard about on the way over here. Uh, yeah, so the Ascension Core essentially is the pinnacle in Pokemon conservation. Uh, ever since they have come to our beautiful region, they have taken ample steps to make sure that Pokemon live happy and free uh, while also providing jobs and things uh, and essential goods for the region. It's 
uh, you'll probably run into some of their products in the mart. And then, then so, go ahead. Uh, so what, what do they sell at the mart? What, what can I get? Is it worth going right away to the mart? Uh, I mean, they basically sell your essentials. They do potions, antidotes, pokeballs, pretty much anything you might need on an adventure. Um, do we have any of that shit already, by the way? No, you have two thousand dollars in a backpack. Two thousand dollars in a backpack? Yeah, I thought it was fifteen hundred. Is it two oh, thousand? I'll give you two thousand. Okay, change that. Generous, Understood. generous lord. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Two thousand dollars. We started with two hundred, but you know, side hustles on the boat made us an extra five hundred bucks. Yeah, you guys gambled, beat the shit out of some other Pokemon trainers, yeah. stole their money. I will accept this. <laughs> My road to championhood started on a boat. <laughs> it's got to start somewhere, right? Hey, Mason, right. are you so keeping like, track of your money uh, by hand? Yeah, it's on your character sheet. I, I didn't know if he was writing it down. Oh, Why he's not gonna track it, it for us. I think honor system should be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah if you guys no, 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 want to, no. if you guys want to cheat in sure Pokemon you RPG, it on you know. Paper. Oh, I got you. No, you track, you track everything on yourself. Actually, I don't see it on my character sheet. Is the problem? It should be on your character character sheet. Right so under it should be like gender. concept, gender, nature, age, which my age is sixteen, by the way, um, and then money. Oh, oh, oh! I see. I have fifteen hundred. Okay, two thousand. Let's diggity get it. <laughs> All right, got it. All right, two K. We're we're vibing. Um, I think I'm yeah. I'm good in the in the welcome center. Ready to go check out this Manaphy um, festival. I'm gonna ask yeah. them to point me to the uh, Pokemon Center because the first thing I want to do is buy some Pokeballs. How much time do we That'd have be before this uh, parade starts? Uh, probably about an hour or so. Okay. Um. What is this town right here? What is this little guy right here? Oh, I do have another question. That's just it's a fisherman's house. Oh, okay. Is there any way I can get a fishing pole, or do I have to go to the store for that? Uh, you can go to the mart. All right, let's do that then. So um, I'm going to ask the, uh, the tour guide real quick. Be like, I see a lot of Pokemon just walking free. Is uh, that just something we can do? Uh, yeah, you'll have to register your Pokemon first. Uh, with the professor. Um, any professor has the access to register your Pokemon for the region. And then once we have that, uh, we make sure that they're not carrying any Pokerus and things of that nature. Uh, they're free to walk around. Pokey, okay, what? So now I have my order of Pokerus. Pokemon Poker. virus. Po Interesting. New to me. It, so in the okay, game, it's beneficial. <laughs> yeah, it's actually a thing in the video games. Uh, yeah, I haven't played since like I try I play fuck around with Arceus and then like before that it was a gold and silver dog like man oh, the original I've been competitive since Damn. Crystal. <laughs> but um, um yeah so I know my order of operations I'm gonna go to the professor then the Pokemon Center to get some Pokeballs let's move this here go y'all keep right so the Pokeballs are gonna be in the Mart they're not gonna okay sell so so the, the Mart yeah. yeah I'm used to the Pokemon Center being where everything is but yeah I'll go to the yeah. Professor, the Mart, and then I'm going to go to where that uh, parade festival is going to be held. Sure. Yeah, I guess, uh, yeah, I guess I'll follow. So, do the same thing. So, question real quick before I head out is, what can't I do if I don't register my Pokemon? Or is it like you absolutely must register your Pokemon? Uh, I cannot tell you what will happen to you if you don't register your Pokemon, but you will... It's kind of like, oh, it's encouraged. It's strongly encouraged. Yeah, if you, you know, okay. it's like it's like fishing without a license, right? Uh, like, I see. I see. Sometimes you can get away with it, but if the warden shows up, I'm tracking. How can they yeah. tell? They will commandeer your boat, <laughs> and they will come and look at what you've got. Uh, but, it'll be um, something. It'll be something that can show up in the region's Pokedex. I'm yeah. I'm so sure I, I, this is one of those things where it's like it's surprisingly futuristic. I'm still yeah, gonna have some portal out. So, so is it one of those where like when you challenge someone to a battle, you have to like NF NFC your 
Pokedex together, and if you're not registered, then you can't battle? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I'll still have Squirtle out, but then I'll go to the the professor yep. center to First the stop academy or whatever. Yep. To get registered Wait. proper, but I'm just gonna yeah. like fucking cruise my way over there with my Squirtle at my hip. I'm just gonna is, be like, is registration yep. free? We'll uh, find yeah. out. Oh, okay. It is. <laughs> I mean, you can you can ask the tour guide. She'll tell you everything you need to know about registering a Pokemon. Wait, is it over here? Yes. Yeah, okay. Well, the entire time I'm walking over there, I'm basically doing like the the globe trotter spin on a Pokeball that has my Growlithe in it. <laughs> All right, everyone's here. Uh, you walk in. Uh, you can tell they're very busy. It's you have a couple lab techs running around scrambling, uh, and then you see. A uh, taller, middle-aged gentleman uh, sitting in the back, typing away at his computer, uh, if you'd like to approach. Uh, sure. Do they look like yeah. a professor? Yeah. 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 So we, I, Named I'm after well, a tree, perhaps? Uh, it's driftwood. Okay. So a dead tree. Yeah. <laughs> Waterlogged. <laughs> Um, yeah, um, I, I'll, I'll approach, because we don't know who the professor is, right? Or his name. We yeah. just know that there's a professor. Okay, so yeah. yeah. He, he, he is noticeably different than the uh, lab techs. Like, he looks okay. more important. Yeah, I'll, I'll approach. Yeah, yeah. If nobody else is bothering him, I'll approach. Yep. Same. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll follow uh, Alden. Follow Alden. So, he sees you guys walk in. Uh, Alola friends, what can I do for you? Hey, I was just looking at seeing about getting my Pokemon registered since I'm new to the region. Uh, so is this your first uh, time? What's up, Alola bra? Alola. <laughs> I'm just going to turn and be like, all right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah, new so, to the region. So first time for everybody? He starts pointing around. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> All right. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to get you some trainer IDs and some Pokedex. Uh, those are all on the house. You can thank the Ascension Core. Uh, and he just shuffles out four Pokedex. Uh, he's like, if you guys will just please scan the Pokemon you want to register, uh, and we'll get you on your way. I will do so. Yes, I present... Right. Nidoran mail. Thanks, Ascension Corp. <laughs> is it in the Pokeball or outside the Pokeball? That they get scared? Uh, you, you let him out. Okay. The line's already out. So, so it's like chipping, chipping your dog? Yeah, it's like geotagging, essentially. Um, am, am, I, am I allowed to say to my party that the Ascension Corp sounds kind of iffy at the moment? Sus? Oh, you can yeah. do yeah, a little. You can say whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, just remember yeah, the ascension core is all you, you can say whatever the fuck you want, man. Hey, man, I got free stuff. I can't complain. Got no reason to. Uh, what are your concerns, Nas? Oh no, no, no! Totally mm-hmm. unfounded. No. Yes. Yeah. Hey, whoa. I no mean, corporation I... would ever do wrong. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, never. Yeah, it's just uh, Pokemon Walmart. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I, I'm going to keep my mouth shut. That's all I say. I just kind of give a, a side look and kind of a, 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 a little remark under my breath. Of like, this is kind of weird. Uh, but I don't say too much because I'm new. And I'll just so- notate in my head that they seem awfully involved. Yeah. So yes. yes, is it? That's it. Is it, however, uncommon for, like, visitors to go to a new region and have to go through protocols similar to this? Uh, I mean, I don't know. Honestly. Don't know. Every the other game it starts with you uh, living in the region, so... Yeah, because you're just showing for, up, but, like... Because normally you, you get your first Pokemon at that region. You don't usually show up with one. Right. right. So that's why I was curious if, like... 
Because when you're getting your first one there, they usually give you your Pokedex and all that shit. So it really wouldn't be that uncommon. But that's why I was curious. So. Okay. Um, while Squirtle's getting scanned, is, is, it, is, it, is it all, is the professor doing all the scanning? Or is yeah, it so like the they the go over to a machine is, and do the thing? Uh, he, he pretty much just like has you scan the Pokedex and then you'll hand it back to him and then he'll do whatever he has to do in his computer. So he's taking care of your group, uh, and as you're there, some other groups come in and they're working with some of his lab assistants doing very similar things. So I'm going to go ask him if he knows, because clearly he's one of the Alola bros. So I'm going to go talk to him if like there's any surf spots near the area uh, that I should definitely go hit up. Yeah. So, uh, so we do have time while he's scanning. Like this is going to take a few minutes. Yeah, it, like okay. ma max 10 minutes. Uh, okay. But once you're done scanning your Pokemon, you're pretty much uninvolved with the rest of the process. He's just going to basically give you your trainer IDs, uh, make you licensed, and uh, you'll be good to We're go. We're league official. So while, the, while it's getting scanned, while Nidoran is getting scanned, I'm going to go check out what the assistants are doing. Uh, I'm not going to say anything to anybody. I'm just going to kind of look around and and see if anybody reacts to my presence. Um, so they're very busy today with the festivities going on. And then, you know, the boat just came in, uh, which isn't extremely frequent. So when people do come in and then they have to get everyone's Pokemon registered, it is a very busy day for them. So they're not paying you too much attention. Um, but what they're doing is basic Pokey Lab stuff, nothing out of the ordinary. They're scanning some Pokemon. Uh, they're doing some research. They're answering questions. Typical assistant stuff. While he's doing that, I'm going to kind of nudge Mason and be like, hey, man, you uh, going to start taking pictures of anything? Uh, well, yeah, I was really excited about all the all the new Pokemon I'm seeing. Um, but I'm I'm absolutely going to be taking pictures of everything I uh, everything I come across in this region. Are you vlogging <laughs> this, Mason? Um. So part of what I'm going to be oh, not no. like not like right now. Um. <clears throat> but I will be putting together like a mini documentary style film on um. On on the the journeys I take, gathering uh, shots of Pokemon. Gotcha. So you so you don't have like a live body cam? No, no. I, I have a I have or... a camera. Okay. <clears throat> that he I left can, his cyber eye at home. Take pictures <laughs> and record. Hey, Kevin uh, Gallo, do you have? Are you able to put your video into Discord? That way. All of our videos are live in Discord. No. Okay. It would mess up the stream. Big time. That's what, I, that's what I figured. I was just curious. Okay. All right. Anything else? No. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just waiting on my registration to be done so I can let Growlithe or Grar roll three. All right. And so he's like, all right, guys. Um, I got you. Pokemon registered for the region so they can now roam free as they like. Uh, you can still put them in Pokeballs. It's not required. That is completely up to y'all. Um, and then you guys are officially registered for the Trinitas Pokemon League as well. If that is something you're interested in while you are in the region, don't know how long you're staying, uh, we appreciate you guys coming. Uh, and then he slides you guys your Pokedex back. Uh, and he's like, make sure you check out the festival before you leave. Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. Thank you, Professor Driftwood. Yeah, thanks, no problem, bro. Man. Alola, bro. Alola, bro. We have our IDs now as well. Yeah, so they came with your Pokedex. Yeah, we're too we're like, legit, bro. Let's go. Nice. Walk around the town, man. Can uh, Except can we can we take a group photo? Uh, to to uh, hell yeah, to the, for the inaugural uh, journey, just the the intro picture. I'm all about it, man. I'm gonna like cool with that. Yeah, I'm gonna put on my matching Squirtle Squad shades with my Squirtle and his Squad mm -hmm. shades. 
Hell I'm gonna pat my yeah. chest and try and get uh, Growlithe to jump up in my arms. All right, so um, I'm gonna see if uh, Professor Driftwood can take a photo of the of the gang because I obviously not. Uh, yeah, man, sure. Awesome, thanks. And so <clears throat> we pose, get ready, and I guess Driftwood snaps the pic. Yeah, snap, 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 snap. Awesome. Thank you All so right. much. So we at, so we still have time before the festival begins, correct? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, so but when you come you, when you do come out of the professor center, you do notice that it is beginning to get slammed at the garden. Like that is the place to be when things go off. Mm. So so thanks uh, Alex. I, I, I bring you. up to uh, Mason that there's obviously something going on and that it might be a prime social media venture for everybody. Um, mm-hmm. And we, us being new, we should probably follow suit. When in Rome. Oh, yeah, absolutely, man. <clears throat> I've already got my camera out, and I'm ready to get some beautiful pictures of the event today. Hey, Childish Bacon, thanks for the follow. That's Alex. Oh, Yo, well, thanks, Alex. Alex. What Hello. up, my boy? Um, so I guess I guess me and Knox are gonna s- go towards the the thing and start taking. I'm gonna start taking pictures. I'm of gonna like kind of bump uh, Slater's shoulder and like point over to them and be like, "Hey, man, <clears throat> you wanna follow them?" Well, how are you? You're oh, you're knit around. Okay. Yep. Hey, that changed. Got you. Oh, fancy. What that happened? Was, that was wild. On the Twitch stream, the the layout like changed. It was kind of weird. Kind of cool. Yeah. yeah, it decided to <clears throat> throw the alert sound without... I don't know. We're good. Um, I'm going to throw Squirtle all over my shoulders like he's my kid, and then we're going to cruise over to... Uh, the shindig. Uh, I'm gonna so, have a growl who's following me, and I'll just tag along. And then, uh, due to the crowd, uh, I also have Nidoran out since we're following the, the yeah. customs of the local people. Uh, but I do instruct him to stay next to me at all times. He is not to wander. Um, I'm not sure. Are they following? You know, commands. Like yeah. that, right? Yeah, good. yeah. But yours, okay. yeah. Your original. Yeah, your 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 starters are. You guys are tight, tight. Okay, yeah. So I let him know, like he can be right. out if he wants. He's, you know, he just has to stay next to me. <clears throat> yeah. Perfect. So everyone's, yeah. everyone's going to the festival. We're not doing anything else before then. Uh no, since we're getting packed out, I think I want to catch that before I lose so many spaces. Yeah. All right. All right. So y'all, being new are super interested so you kind of weasel your way past everyone uh, and you kind of get <laughs> semi front row seats hell yeah to the festivities uh <clears throat> and so what you're seeing in the middle uh i guess in this general area there is a giant covered object it's got a sheet over it you're not really sure what it is and then there's two people standing next to it one is a older uh business dressed individual a big a on the crest um of his jacket Uh, he's dressed to the nines you can tell he's important Uh, president yeah and then next to him is probably mid twenties, um, more business casual dress. Uh, he also has an A on his, uh, his shirt. He's kind of wearing like a polo, uh, and next to him, uh, I guess all of you except for, uh, JC would know there's a giant kind of like brownish gold dinosaur looking thing standing next to him wait so i don't see it you see it you just wouldn't recognize what oh it is. okay gotcha gotcha okay so so Ooh. well that doesn't make 
Not Kevin what you doesn't said. know well, I was gonna what say, brownish what gold dinosaur gonna... thing you might be talking about. I'm sure Slater does, but Kevin doesn't. Yeah. Uh, it's a Tyranitar. Okay. I want it. Okay. <laughs> I'm from so... a region that's way more advanced than my actual region, so. Okay, so, um, so I, I, I look at this giant statue of whatever it is, and I, you know, ask the, cr- the group, what is this? Is this a Pokemon from around here? Bro, that's a, that's a Tyrannosaurus. Tyrannosaurus Flex? Tyranna, Tyranna, uh, uh, Tyranna, <laughs> Tyranitar. That's right. It's a, it's a Tyranitar. Bro. All right. That is so a is Pokemon it, that can move mountains, my man. So is it a legendary? What, what's going on with it? Why, why is it so important? Or do we know? Uh, uh, well, it, it's, you can, it is next to the younger of the two. So you can almost assume that is whoever that is Pokemon. Yeah, so that's, that's not, actual, that's, that's not the statue. That's no, the so, so, like, so like there's a Pokemon. A no, there is in between the two gentlemen, there is a covered object. Uh, you don't know what is it's under a sheet. Um, oh, okay. But then there's a gentleman with a Tyranitar and then a older ah, business okay, guy okay. standing around it. They're waving, taking pictures. You hear a group of girls over in the corner yelling, back, back. And then, you know, kind of doing the, the younger guys kind of doing the wave, posing for I'm pictures. I'm going to burn the image of whoever that guy they're calling back is into my head. Uh, I think, yes. I think this might be those Ascension bros that, like, gave us our Pokedexes and stuff. Yeah, I've I've never actually gotten to see a Tyranitar this close before. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull my camera out, and start taking pictures of this thing. Yeah, and his his Tyranitar is very stoic. Uh, <clears throat> he's not one for large crowds, but he can kind of tell he's used to these types of events. Uh, is, although they're not his favorite. Is Beck in earshot? Can he hear me? Uh. I mean, he's probably in earshot, but there are everyone here is basically here to see Beck. Okay, I'm gonna pick up Grar. Sure there's a lot of loud like, noises too. I'm gonna put Grar on my head, so where he's just like on my shoulders, on my head. And then I'm, I'm How gonna. How much does your growl this way? Uh, quite a bit. <laughs> no. So <laughs> that's just <laughs> all like traps and ears. Yeah, uh, he's a. Uh... How much does Growlithe weigh? That's a good question. Um, 19 kilograms. That's like 40 some odd pounds. Yes, and it's on my shoulders. No, it's on your head. <laughs> and shoulders. <laughs> Knees and toes? No. Yes. Okay. Um, so, I am strong. <laughs> I noticed that uh, Nidoran has gotten even closer to me than originally was instructed. Uh, He's looking up at the Tyranitar. Are we are we allowed to like build the scenario with our Pokemon? Like we, I think you yeah. can a little bit, right? Just not okay. like yeah. I, I can't just like. I mean, if your Pokemon's it. scared, your Pokemon's scared, dude. Like, yeah, that's, especially that's, that's, that's nature. A, that's a reasonable was, response, I think. Right. I didn't yeah. want to. I didn't want to take it away from Jared if he wanted to be like, "I'll tell you when your Pokemon do things." <laughs> no, so no, no, he no. kind of plays okay. our Pokemon, but 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 we can still like. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Can, I mean, I'm, I'm going to be, I'm going to be a little more lenient on playing your Pokemon because I think that's half the fun of right this so, session. So, like in battles, I might DM story tell what your Pokemon are doing. But in situations like this, if you feel like your Nidoran's scared, you can say, "Hey, my Nidoran's getting closer to me because they've never seen this giant ass fucking dinosaur." Right. Yeah. So that's what I was going to say is Nidoran sees this giant Tyranitar it's never seen before. It's clearly nervous, has no idea what's going on, and I do the best I can to like reassure him that one day he too will be big. We just have to work to get there. <laughs> you too will be swole. <laughs> Everything the, the light the original touches Tyranitar. will be yours. I don't think I ever put... No, I did. Never mind. Disregard. I'm just vibing, bro. Yep. All right, so you see uh, a couple people walk out and hand a microphone to each individual. Um, 
and then someone comes forward and they're like, thank you everybody for coming to the Manaphy Festival. As you know, uh, we are starting to celebrate the times of creation. And so we were blessed enough to be chosen as a host town um, for one of the festivals. Uh, we are, it is our honor uh, to have President Gareth from the Ascension Corps and league champion Beck here with us today uh, to do the honors. Uh, this is the first one of the season, so we want to make it the best one of the season. Uh, and she hands, or she kind of motions toward uh, Gareth, and he takes the microphone. Um, it is my honor uh, to be here and to be a part of your festival in your town. Uh, you guys have been nothing but a home for us since we came here a couple years ago. Uh, and we appreciate everything that y'all do for us. Uh, we hope we continue to push forward for the Pokemon uh, and for the people. Um, I'm going to clap. It, yeah. So, I'm going to gauge everyone's woo. reactions. Yeah. yeah, every, yeah. Everyone's yeah. going absolutely batshit. Except for there's one individual <clears throat> in this corner who's booing. Hmm. He's just... Oh, not just, Alden. No, he's just... Okay. He's just... <laughs> no, it is... It is... It is uh, just one individual with a sign just chanting down with Ascension Core. Oh, uh, snap. Anything noteworthy about him? <clears throat> uh, I mean, not... Besides, he's the only one that it's I not mean, having a good anything time. Anything no. physically noteworthy, so like I can possibly track him down later. Uh, I mean, he's probably, he's, a, community, uh, he's probably a community pariah type person, right? Like, yeah, besides yeah, the big ass well liked in the community. Yeah. Uh, Does I he mean, have a he, Pokemon near him? Uh, no, no Pokemon near him. So I'll like walk over to him and be like, so bro, like why you why you trying to marsh everybody's mellow, bro? Like we're just having a good time hanging out with the dinosaur. Here. Like, why you being like this? Uh you know, they're just too industrial for my liking. You know, everything was going to plan was peaceful and easy before they showed up a couple years ago. So, like, I mean, things seem pretty peaceful now, bro. Like, all the Pokemon are just hanging out. There's some fucking sweet waves over there. Like, I don't know what's what's going on. I know one of my these new guys I just met, they were like, man, this Ascension Core is a little sketchy, but, like, they seem like chill dudes. They bought me some shit. I was going to buy some of their shit. I need to, you know, what's going on, dude? I said, you guys just don't get it if you weren't here before them. Well, I'm like trying to get it, dude. Why you gotta be all rude, man? I'm just here. The squirrels hanging out. We're just vibing, bro. Cryptic, bro. Yeah, he's just, he's just. They're just, there's just something about him I don't like. Is all he says. And he gets I mean, back there's a lot of things I don't like either. You know, like like fire type Pokemon, electric hey. type Pokemon. <laughs> we don't, I, we don't necessarily get along. All right, but that's okay. So just. If you want to go talk to him, go talk to him. Don't don't boo him. You're not gonna have any friends that way. I'm just gonna nice. wander the fuck back to the group. So have we heard this exchange between them since he had to walk over to him? I was just handing uh, out life lessons. You, you could probably like notice that <laughs> the conversation wasn't going super well, but you probably couldn't hear what was okay, said. Bet, bet. So so I noticed that Slater walks is walking over, talking to this guy by himself. Whatever, I don't care. I'm not interested. That guy's not important right now. Uh, I'm trying to be number one. Everybody wants this Beck dude. They're all on his jock. I want to go talk to him. I want to know why everybody loves this dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm on the same wavelength. Uh, so there's security right now, uh, but you might be able to grab him after the festival but getting close to him right now uh not possible 
I'm going to, I want to go back. When I go back to the group, I want to go talk to Knox about like what that dude said. Um, seeing as like Knox was suspicious, this dude's suspicious and he's not a big fan. So like, just kind of let them like figure out what they're both feeling out a little bit, you know? And then like, if they want to go communicate, you know, maybe do it in the right way as opposed to just booing out in front of a crowd of hundreds of potentially thousands of people. So. Okay. So are we going to, is that us having that conversation or do we need to actually have that conversation? Uh, I mean, if you guys want to role play. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll walk over and I'll be like, Hey man. So I just went and talked to that dude. I'm sure you, you saw me talking to that dude, right? Like, yeah, for sure. So like, you know, I went over there and he's booing bro. And I was just like, bro, what's why, why you, why you trying to march everybody's mouth? And he's like, bro, this Ascension core, they're bad dudes. And I know you were talking about how they're bad dudes and I don't get it, man. They gave us free shit. So like they, they get all the stuff for these people. Why, why, how can they be bad? I don't know, man. Maybe you can, I don't think you can necessarily talk some sense into them because you guys have the same like thought process, but what's, what's going on? What are you, what are you feeling? Cause he's clearly feeling it. And like, I'm just here for the vibes, bro. I don't want my mellow marshed. You know, I smell a little bit like a skunk right now. I'm just hanging out and you guys are really ruining that. So, uh, it's, it's cool to know that I'm not the only one that's got bad vibes, uh, from this whole Ascension thing. So it's, I, I appreciate you going and talking to that guy because now I feel better talking out in public about it. Um, it just seems like they have their hand in everything. You know, I get it. They've been great and, and all that. But there's a, you know, sometimes it is too good to be true when things are going too well. Uh, and I just, I just want to make sure that, you know, I don't do all this work and, and climb the top and realize I'm with the wrong people, right? I got to make sure I'm on the right side from the get-go. So. Bro, so hold on. So, like, what if this Beck dude, like, ain't a dude? Like, not like, you know, like, he's not a dude, dude. But, like, what if he's one of the Ascension bros? And that's the only reason that he's, like, the champ. I mean, it, it could be. Maybe maybe Ascension has it where they they genetically altered his Pokemon or or they just have it have the ins and outs to get him the best Pokemon, you know? Who knows? I just met a dinosaur, bro. I don't know what's going on right now. So uh, I just that might met be a Beck's dinosaur. That, <laughs> that, that might be Beck's dinosaur shit. So you know, <clears throat> may, I, motherfucker looks legendary to me. So uh, it, it's kind of weird. Yeah, maybe I don't know, man. You know, I don't like big corporations, but like these bros seem chill. And we'll see. I, I for the moment. I'm going to let it sit to the side and I'm going to try to figure out who this bet guy is because everybody loves him and I want everybody to love me. So I got to figure out how to get in this dude's ear and maybe we'll find some more puzzle pieces. Well, I got you, bro. I'm on your team and I'm going to like give him a fist bump. Wow. <laughs> I'm just snapping pictures of Pokemon. Don't mind me. Yeah. So wait, oh, you're taking pictures. Okay. <clears throat> I was gonna say, if you were video recording, did you catch our conversation? Because that's that's on your that's Ascension crazy. Corp camera. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna have to get deleted. <clears throat> that's gotta go. Nah, dude, I'm just snapping pictures of the Pokemon, bro. I'm just having a good time mingling with people. Got Growlithe out and be like, hey, man, I want his spot. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, are they still talking? Uh, no, he's handed the microphone to <clears throat> Beck. Uh, the champ. The Beck, yeah, the champ. Uh, and he's like, you know, it's been three years since I came here from Galar. Uh, you guys have been nothing but family to me and my Tyranitar. Um, we appreciate everything you do. Uh, we appreciate Gareth and the sponsorship that he gave us. Uh, to get our name out there and give us the opportunity. Um, okay. and without without further ado, uh, the reason why we're here, and he pulls the sheet off the statue, 
And as it is a giant column, and in the middle of the column there is a very large blue square looking object. Oh. Is, is this object doing anything? Uh, I mean, it's like it's being square. It's it's glittering and stuff. Like it's it is a very it wasn't there. Not glowing. I mean, so not glowing. Was... No. Okay. All right. All right. But, What's the crowd's reaction? Uh, I mean, they're cheering really hard. Uh, Did they like start cheering more after the tarp came like, off? Shit? Like it got like yeah, like they clearly know what the fuck this is, and we're the four uh, out of the loop here. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, they they know it's a big deal. Okay, I'm gonna like look, try to like look up at Squirtle on my shoulders and be like, "Do you have any fucking idea, bro?" And he's gonna like just shrug at me and be like, "I don't fucking gonna, know either, dude." I'm gonna kind of nudge the nearest crowd member and just be like, "Hey, what? I'm new here. What's this about?" Uh, they're like, "Oh man, this is one of the the first stones in the region, man. It's supposed to signify good being to all coastal towns and all." Water Pokemon, which is a big deal for us. Uh, stones. There's more stones. Uh, yeah. Um, I, we really don't know how many. Um, but we know at least eight get picked for the creation festivals, and this is our first time having it here in Bitterbank. So it is. It's a big honor for us. Hey, you know that's eight. awesome. I'm glad picked. for you. You said eight towns get picked? Yeah. So, like, so, is it the same stones that, like, go to the different towns every year? Or is it, like, new stones every year for each town? Uh, it's been the same stones pretty consistently. It's a new town every year. Yeah, new town every year, but it's the same stones. Yeah. So, so why so did Bitterbank get picked this year? What happened here, bro? Uh, you know, we just you put in a bid for it. Like, you know, you pitch the you pitch it to the Ascension Corps. They're the ones that host these. Uh, and then if they take your proposal, they come down. I'm just gonna kinda like look around me and be like, hey, you know, I asked a question, but thanks. Oh, I didn't. I didn't hear what you said. Sorry. No, I was, I'm just saying. Like, I asked the guy initially, and then everyone else is like, "Hey, you know, I got oh. things to ask." Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, damn, where were we all a minute ago? <laughs> ne next to you. You <laughs> yeah, we we've been by you, bro. Um. Wait. Oh, I had a question. So, like, are the stones here? for like months and then Ascension Core like picks it up and then takes it back to like the bro compound and then they like bring it to a new place or is it they it's here for a couple days during the ceremony and then they take it back we'll host it for a year and then they'll just take it to the next town yeah when the festivals roll around it might be a little less than a year technically because right, they gotta pick it up and move it time. But, but generally we Host it till the next festivals. Uh, uh, so there are eight stones, right? So eight different towns each year. Yeah, that's awesome. Do you like know the other seven towns? Uh, no, uh, that it's not disclosed to us until the time for their festival. Not every festival happens at the same time. Um, uh, like, but these dudes usually, can't like be in the same place at the same time. That like makes sense, bro. Yeah. I'm just going to uh, the back, like, yep, I'm just nodding. So, uh, question, a DM question for you, Jarrett. Sure. Um, so, I didn't know what Tyranitar was. Makes sense. Uh -huh. But does that also mean I don't know what Manaphy is? Since it's a legendary, is it to be assumed that I know more about it being a legendary? Yeah, you would have, I would assume it was probably like a bedtime story type okay. of thing so, for y'all okay so since i'm from the kanto region does that mean everything after kanto is new to me or is it just like 
I, like I think the generational, like the typical day to day Pokemon are going to be new because you didn't interact with them. But like the creation stories and okay. legendaries, like so you would I know see this and yeah, like you would know that there were allegedly a Pokemon that tried to flood the world. Okay. In, Ki okay. in Kyogre, like that's a big enough myth to okay. be outside of region. I just wanted to know if I needed to explore what Manaphy was character wise, right? So, no, I mean, like some people obviously might believe in it a little more, uh, but to you, it's just it's a mythical Pokemon gotcha. that you've heard okay. stories about. Fair enough. And I'm okay. sure the stories are a little different too, depending on what region you end up in as well. Yeah, but yeah. Well, I just didn't want to be walking around this Manaphy festival, like cheering and going crazy. And then like at the end, I'm like, what's a Manaphy? No. <laughs> no, that's no, me. It's that's just, my it job. just drowned a thousand children, but you know, it's fine. I thought that was Kel Keldeo, since it's after a Kelpie. I mean, you'd probably be right. I'm just saying, like this town probably had bad experience. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm good. Any other questions for our civilian? No, I'm just waiting on a chance to talk to the champ, or at least see if I can. Uh, so everyone's cheering. They're doing, you know, the handshake photos between Gareth and Beck, uh, buddy buddy type stuff. Um, the lady that introduced them said. Well, thank you guys for coming to the festival. We know this will be a great year uh, for the town. And uh, he is being so generous that Beck will be taking some photo and autograph opportunities over toward the south gate, which is nah, just so conveniently was, where, where y'all are standing. He was going to get a photo op either way because I was going to have uh, uh, Mason uh, snap one when I tried to talk to him either way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Now I just don't have to sneak it. I get. I mean, how many picture. times do you get to see the champ? I'm definitely taking pictures. You kidding oh, me? Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm so, going to go to the shop because I really don't give two shits about the uh, champ. Sure. That's reasonable. So I hang out. I wait on the champ to come over. and Are, and are the attention. other... Are the other y'all three are staying? Yeah, I'm wanting to take yeah. pictures of the Tyranitar. Um, I'm going to kind of assume a crowd is already there, so I'm just going to go to the shop first and then sure. see if I can catch it on the tail end. Sure. Uh, so Beck's coming up. Um, he notices y'all. Y'all are kind of conveniently positioned. He's looking at us, Knox. <laughs> Uh, uh, hey guys, you looking for an autograph? Hell yeah, I'm trying to get an autograph, picture, everything. I want to know everything about you. Yeah, <laughs> ab absolutely, man. Uh, yeah, well, I got, you know, a little time while I do this, so ask away. Uh, it'll be a couple minutes before, uh, Elise gets back with the, the paper and stuff for me to autograph so i got i got some times for some questions how long have you had tyranitar uh tyranitar has been my boy since day one you know uh grew up in galler in a mountain town um called him when i was young as a little little larvitar oh uh, yeah and he he helped me get to where i am today couldn't do it without him that's awesome. You mind yeah. if I take pictures of just the so just I am a, I am a photographer and an aspiring maker, and I just I love Pokemon, and I've never seen one. Is it okay if I get some? Like, no offense, but without you in them, is that all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the more photogenic of the two of us, anyway. And he's like, "Come on, Tar," uh, and he kind of whistles yeah. over, and he just you can kind of feel the ground shake around you when he walks. But he comes over and starts, and he just kind of stands there. Heck yeah! And I'm just I'm snapping pictures. So not you can do your thing. I'm just gonna so, I'm just gonna take pictures of the Tyranitar. So 
I'm I'm trying to get in on on the the social media pictures too. I bring Nidoran over. I ask Mason, "Hey, can we get a picture of Nidoran <laughs> fist bumping Tyranitar? Because that's going to be a profile pic." Um, uh, I feel like this Tyranitar's fist is as big as your entire Nidoran. That's the point. That's the point. So it's literally just gonna look like he's about to punch the Jesus out of him. That's or the Manaphy, I guess. Yeah, can we get Whatever. a picture of Tyranitar bodying this Nidoran? Once, once, once Nidoran is Nido King, we're gonna do this picture all again. It's gonna be that bring it back type picture, right? And they're gonna be fist bumping like like they're boys. That's my plan. Uh you know, I would, but he's not exactly the most play friendly with other Pokemon. Uh, yeah, so no worries. I, yeah, no worries. It's he, all he. Re- he really hates these outings, but he does it for me, and so I appreciate oh, him. All right. No. Is, that, that's, is that's it okay? Way, is it okay if I get Knox? Do you want a picture with with uh the champ? Like, yeah. is that yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah. Can I do that? that? Can we get a pick back? Yeah, of course, man. That's what I'm here for. Yeah. Hell yeah. Heck yeah, dude. Bam, bam, bam. I'm snapping pictures, dude. Bam, bam. So. Uh, <laughs> What what other Pokemon do you have besides Tyranitar? Oh uh, well, you know I can't give away all my secrets. Worth a try. <laughs> yeah. Do you got so you you said you moved here, right? Do you have yeah. an area around here to train? Is there somewhere where we could go to to start trying to get to your level? Uh, where's the I, Where's the best way for me to go? I mean, honestly, the great thing about this place is everything's pretty natural right so you're not going to run into a, a bunch of house broken pokemon uh so i would say just explore the entire region man it's got a little bit of everything that you could want you know mountains snow water desert uh you just kind of pick what you're going for and go hell yeah thanks for that i um if you don't mind so we're, i'm new to the region i'm from the seno region and I'm trying to um, essentially get some beautiful shots of different Pokemon, and um, maybe maybe do some some battling and, and film my film the entire thing as like a mini documentary. Um, if you ever need like a photographer or somebody to take video, um, I'd love to to help you out with that. Maybe get you some good shots, um, and I, I I hand them you know my number. Uh, he takes it. Uh, he puts it in his back pocket. He's like, yeah, I'll hit you up. But as he, you see a ton of like cameras flashing and stuff like that, he's like, you know, I feel like getting my picture taken is not my weak point. Fair enough. But it would be uh, sinful if I, if I didn't at least offer. And, of course, champions, champions don't have to pay. Yeah. Well, I respect the grind, man. And maybe if I can fit into my schedule and I see you around, we'll, we'll link up or something. Awesome. Thanks, Beck. Can I call you back? Oh yeah, everyone else, everyone else does. All right, cool. So, so, uh, I get. I don't know if we already went over this part of it, but I get an autograph from Beck. Beck, can I? Is you cool to sign this? Like, is is Elise back with the stuff? Yeah, Elise. Will, yeah, Elise will be back with us. So she'll be running up. He's got uh a picture of him in. I guess it would be like him the day he won the champions league okay. or won the league from uh it's him and the old champion. Uh him signs it over by his name and passes it to you. Hell yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's gonna be a family heirloom. No problem, man. <laughs> um it, uh, out of uh character, uh, do we have eyes on President Gareth? Uh I'll be back. Is he nearby? Yeah, he's kind of you know moving around he's talking to more corporate looking people sure. uh just kind of standing around he's not one for the limelight really okay but awesome. yeah he's he's in the general area all right yeah so um with that uh thank you back for your time i don't want to keep you i know you got shit to do um, but thank you for everything, the autograph, the advice. Um, I'm going to see you one day in the league for sure. Keep your eyes out. By the way, I don't know if I did it, but my name is Knox. So. All right, Knox, I'll remember that. Uh, I plan on seeing you later then. Yeah, 
and I'm Mason. I didn't tell you my name, but there it is. <laughs> He's like, nice to meet you, Mason. All right, I oh. I'm gonna after that I'm gonna go to the, go ahead and go to the store. Yeah, yeah you guys. Yeah, yeah you guys gotta, gotta, Yeah, you guys gotta like fight your way out. The Beck essentially just gets bombarded once you guys move the fuck out of the way. <laughs> uh, you were holding up some preteens. Wet panty types. Oh yeah. my god, dude. Yeah. Copy, Kevin. <laughs> All right. All right. <clears throat> um, All right. the store. We are at yeah. the store. You are at the mart. I got um, all this bread. So, um, so now that now that we're back with uh, Slater and Alden, um, you know, I start looking around. I let them know, hey guys, I'm here. Um, you know, we had a good time, everything. Show them the autograph. Um, and then we, I, I just start looking around the store to see what I'll need uh, before we head out. Um, so what, what are the price ranges on everything? Like, so I know what to buy. Uh, okay. So you got, uh, I, I guess I could, I could say I go up to the, I go up to a, 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 a store oh. salesman and I go, Hey, you know, what, what do I, where, where are your prices? Uh, they're, they're hung up on a wall, uh, kind of okay. next to everything, like a menu, uh, potions. Uh, or sorry, Ascension potions, twenty five bucks. Super potions, fifty bucks. Pokeballs, a hundred. Antidotes, twenty five. Uh, I asked the salesperson, "What's the difference in a potion and an Ascension potion?" Uh, Where I'm from it's just a potion. Yeah, so, uh, we do carry some imported goods. Uh, because we know some Pokemon are used to having, we'll call it, uh, yeah, just used mm-hmm. to having non Ascension type products. Uh, but the Ascension stuff, it's made, it's cheaper uh, because it's made home. We don't have to import it to and from, but it's a, it's the same thing as a regular potion. Um, a little more natural Got than a brand label on it. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just a okay. little more, a little more natural than. The imported stuff we find, uh, our Pokemon like it a lot more. Uh, but again, if you're from out of town, it might be a little different for your Pokemon at first. So. Okay. I'll uh, ask Squirtle what he thinks about it, and I'll let you decide how he feels. Uh, I mean, I don't. Squirtle's got no bad vibes. You got it. <laughs> No yeah. bad vibes, bro. Yeah. All right. No, no, no one has. Squirtles, <laughs> squirtles chill, no man. No one has marched. No one has All right. So I guess I'll get uh, a couple of the Ascension potions and a couple of Pokeballs. Well, you said there were Ascension potions, Super potions, Pokeballs. Yeah. And... So every, everything, everything is Ascension labeled. So Ascension right, right. potion, Ascension, Super potion, Ascension, Pokeball. Uh, yeah. Um, so, so everything's Ascension added, prefixed to right. Yeah, so Ascension you know, makes if you, everything. If you, here. if you if you want something imported, it's going to be twice the amount. It's going to be double. Oh, yeah. Shit. So two hundred for regular Pokeballs, a hundred for Ascension balls. So what's like the difference between an Ascension Pokeball and a Pokeball, bro? Like, don't they all just hold Pokemon? Yeah, but. We don't have to import Ascension Pokeballs, dude. We give them straight from the factory, hand delivered, made with care. You know how much shipping costs in this economy right now, dog? <laughs> Gas <laughs> prices alone to get it here. I mean, yeah, and as you can see, we don't have an airport, so that's got to come by boat. That's all right. So, cheaper. what were the items? I got, I got potion, super potion, Pokeballs. What else was it? Antidote. Uh, I'll probably just. And get... How much was the antidote? 50. Antidote's just poison, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, so I what? guess I'll... Oh, shit. Uh, well, so we'll do... Like... Pokeballs are 100. Yes. So, while Slater's calculating in his head, I'm gonna take... I'm gonna uh, purchase... Uh, five potions. 
Regular uh, potions? Yeah, regular potion. How 25. much? 35? 20. 20. 20. And then I'm going to buy 10 potions. So that should bring me to 750 down. Yeah. So that leaves me with 1250. Um, That's what I, I want. I, I, take the, uh, I take the items, thank the salesman, and I put them in my bag. So it should be 500 plus 200 plus <laughs> one antidote? Yeah. 25? Uh, so 500, uh, what's 25 times 8? 200. So that's 700, yep. 750 is what you spent. Antidote's 50. Yeah. Uh, I have a question. So, so is, can is, we... Is this a DM question or a character question? This is a DM question. Can we sure. get the like regular potion? It's just double, right? We can still get it, though. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm back. So, um, I look at the salesperson, and um, I don't want to alter like the 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 potions that that my Pokemon have taken in the past. They seem to help. Um, so I don't want them like taking anything like new that might have affect the outcome. So I'm just gonna get um, I'm gonna get regular potions and regular super potions and I'll get uh so let's do so so before Mason makes his purchase I nudge him and remind <clears throat> him that super potions may be a little overpowered right now considering the level of our Pokemon. Oh yeah fair. Um no, so I would save your I would save your money. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah facts yeah. facts facts um let's do let's do ten potions okay. five hundred and then um, we'll do five Ascension Pokeballs. Yes, that's a thousand. For a thousand. And let's do let's do one antidote. Yeah, so one regular thousand. antidote. So that's a hundred. Eleven hundred. Eleven hundred, yeah. Yeah. You don't need antidote <laughs> if you have a poison po poison Pokemon. <laughs> Wait, are antidotes fifty or a hundred? Well, he's buying. He's I, I not bought buying the regular. Assist. He's buying the imported stuff. Yeah. Oh, 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 okay. I just, I just don't want to try something like have my Pokemon ingesting something new. But I'll take the Ascension Pokeballs all day. As suspicious as I am of Ascension, a dollar's a dollar, and we gotta keep that budget tight. We can get a new Nidoran. It's a lot harder yeah. to get actual dollars. <laughs> it's, it's a lot harder to earn money. Not if you're a photographer. I'm just a fucking 16 year old <laughs> I have, man. I have a trade, baby. These space bucks are hard to come by. What is the deal with Ascension Pokeballs? Um, um there. Oh, oh, you weren't here for the whole spiel, were you? Okay. No. So at the Mart, you can get the Ascension brand products. At half the price of what you could get in normal products. So if a potion is fifty bucks, you can get the Ascension potion for twenty-five. Ascension balls are a hundred. Regular Pokeballs are two hundred, uh, and they're essentially the same thing, but one's not having to be imported to the island since Ascension's headquarters is here. They can get them delivered without having to buy them from off island and bring them on. Was the sales Ooh. pitch? Also. <laughs> Oh, go ahead, Seth. And Squirtle felt no bad vibes about the Ascension stuff, just in case that helps make a good or bad decision. It doesn't. You got to trust um, the Squirtle. Uh, nothing. I'll just buy uh, 15 Ascension Pokeballs, and uh, that's all I'm buying here. I had intended oh. to go see Beck afterwards. Also, I mean, he's, uh, he's, still, he's still there. I mean, he's going right. to do an autographs for a minute, so we can, we can get you in line. Alden, are you intending to spend your entire budget on Pokeballs? No, most of it. Oh, okay. I wanted to make sure that you remembered we bumped from 1500 to 2000 so I wanted to make sure you got, got what you wanted. Yeah, no, I got what I Well, okay, so uh, how much were the Ascension potions? Uh, 25. Um, 25? I will get prior to your purchase, Alden. It might be mm -hmm. worth noting that any Pokemon you catch in this region 
will probably want to use the Ascension potion. Well, right, they're going to be used to the new stuff, the uh, Ascension stuff. Wild caught in the, in the wild, would potion. they though? Wild, wild Pokemon probably won't. Yeah, that's I what mean, I was thinking. Wild caught Pokemon have never had Ascension potions, right? Or potions in general. Well, all right, that's true. My bulk purchase is going to be fifty. Teen of the Pokeballs and eight of the potions. So that's what seventeen hundred. Seventeen hundred. Yep. You got three hundred left. And uh, antid well, paralyzed heals and antidotes at the end of the shot. Uh, just antidote for fifty. I'll get four of those. Okay. So that brings me up to grand total of hundred dollars, right? Left. But, yeah. But, yeah. Left. So, do I get a premier ball? <laughs> no. Damn it. No, no, no. You get an Ascension premier ball. <laughs> I got to say, um, as, a, as a comment to the DM, um, Ascension is probably one of the coolest bad guy names, like, in all of Pokemon. Just so you know. If they're the bad guys. That's what I'm saying. Guys. They seem super fucking nice, dude. And everybody's like... There's a bad Look, guy, and I'm like, dude. Oh, no, I've already... <laughs> we're going to run into the Pokemon, like, Rocket version of this. Team Rocket is going to be, like, Team Demon Summoners or something. Yeah, it's going to be something ignorant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> team Satan. Okay, yeah. that's rough. Yeah. These are the actual bad guys. We found them. Because Beck is a super nice guy. He was. Uh, he was. Oh, yeah. Were he's you, super were you cool. Uh, Alden, uh... No, I was here oh, yeah. for the beginning of that well, where y'all were talking. Jason and I came back and we were showing off our, or I was showing off my autograph and, you know, letting you guys know, like, we did our thing, he was chill and all that stuff, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to look at the autograph and be like, huh, awesome. Um, and then throw I would, um, I look at the, <laughs> and then the, eat it. <laughs> the salesperson <laughs> and um, I ask, uh, do you know where I can find a, a fishing rod? Uh, yeah, there is a bait and tackle shop right behind the Welcome Center. You literally told me it was Fisherman's House. Yeah, and he sells Ooh. bait and tackle. Well, <laughs> no, I was going to do it then. Well, I mean, if it's his house, you know, I don't just roll up to, like, my fucking milkman's house and be like, hey, you got the milk in here, bitch? Yeah, dude, exactly. <laughs> You have a uh, milk. What is this, 1955, dude? I couldn't think of anything else on the fly. Shut the fuck up. My boy's got a milkman. Don't judge right. me. <laughs> um, um, Wait, I'm gonna almost made their purchases. Oh, you're still going. Uh, Astrid, please don't get on my keyboard. Yes, yes, yes. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm gonna go to this guy. So, well, they do their thing. Prior to leaving, my final question. Oh, sorry. and I guess it's no. You're good. It, it's kind of a no. No, you you can still leave. It's, it's, it's a, it's a no. <laughs> Okay. I mean, uh, unless you want to be, but nope. uh, it's it's kind of a DM slash salesman question. Um, to the DM portion is: Do we know what the town looks like, or are we walking around just kind of following social clues? Do I need to get a town map, or does oh, me, that's the other thing I was going to ask. Does oh, me seeing this back. map mean <laughs> no? You would have you have you don't know what the town looks like. Oh, uh, okay. A, a map would be good. So I asked the salesman, where's the best place for me to get a map of either the town and or the region? What, what do I, how do I get that? Yeah, 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 you can get the region map at the Welcome Center. Oh. oh. I was going to take a guess, but. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. It I makes mean, sense, if you got one, right? I'll give you five bucks for it. No, I don't want to walk my ass all the way back I, over there. I I, I don't. We have each one. need our own. Uh, I mean that's I I don't know. Yeah, Do I'll wander I'll wander over there and grab a map out of the welcome center. All right. Yeah, they got region and town maps. Oh, I want both. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'll I'll follow. I'll go with Slater because I'm done purchasing. Right. So I guess we'll go over here and we'll collect maps. Seth, did you, did you want to talk to Beck? Yes. Okay, so you'll go to Beck. I'm going to go use Slater. the restroom. I'll be right yeah, back. I was about to say. Okay, yeah. I'll move him over. Yeah, I was going to say move Slater. All right. Uh, so 
Seth, you wait in line. A bunch of screaming girls, screaming guys. And then you work your way up to Beck. And he's like, hey, man, what's up? Looking for an autograph? <laughs> I'm going to extend my hand to him and just be like, hey, man, I'm gunning for your sh- your seat. <laughs> <laughs> and he's saying, he's like, man, I wouldn't need the sponsorship if I had a dollar for every time someone told me that today. <laughs> mm-hmm. I look forward to seeing you soon. <laughs> yeah, you too, man. <laughs> uh, I'll take a an autograph and I'll shake your hand if you want me to. <laughs> yeah, he shakes your hand. Super nice guy. It's like, yeah, of course, dude. I'm always happy to meet new faces. And then he hands you a picture. It's him and the former champion the day he won uh, the championship. He signs under his name and he passes it to you. Yeah. I'm going to look at it and be like, so how long have you and Tyranitar been the, uh, a partner? Uh, pretty much since day one, man. I grew up in Galler in a small little mountain town, and I called him as a Larvitar. Uh, and he's helped me get to where I am today, so I couldn't have done it without him. Yeah, that's awesome. I feel the same about Grar here. I mean, I'm just going to kind of thumb over to Growlithe. Yeah, man, it's hard to beat a Bond from day one, really. Yeah, Grar has been, he's basically been protecting me. I don't, hadn't had much else. But, yeah. um, <laughs> uh, so what's it, what did it take for you to get to where you are, man? Uh, you know, it's the grind. Uh, thankfully, I grew up, got to, I don't know if you've ever heard of him or how familiar you are with Galler, but, I pretty much grew up side by side with Leon and he's their champion out there. Him and his Zard. Uh, I heard of him there. Yeah. Big news. Yeah. He's, he's the real deal, man. Uh, and you know, when he took, he took the championship and I got the opportunity to explore somewhere else. I took it. Uh, but he really, I mean him, the guy before me here, they really just, just push me until till I till I got to the top. I don't like to lose. <laughs> so uh, have you had a challenge in uh recent years? Uh yeah, I mean we get you know, I do the the dog and pony show. We have a pretty good elite four. Um so one will squeak through every now and then, but really it's just me doing press tours and my own solo grind. I'll I'll spar with the guy in the elite fours or I'll go around to the gyms and make sure their stuff's on the up and up and they're, they're pushing the right challengers through, but hasn't, hasn't been one in a minute, really. Well, I look forward to seeing you again. Yeah, I'll be there. That's all I got. All right, bet, man. And as as you finish, uh, Elise, his assistant, kind of comes through and he's like, "Sorry, everyone. Uh, Beck's man on a tight schedule. We got to get him going on. Uh, he's got to go help set up the next festival." Uh, and so she kind of shuffles him off, and you hear a bunch of the crowd cheer and like, "Oh man!" And he kind of starts heading off with his Tyranitar. I'm back, by the way. So uh, I want to recap on what I bought. It was 15 Pokeballs, 8 potions, and 4 antidotes? Yes. Okay. And I got 100 left over? Yes. Okay. Uh, are you, okay, that's are you tracking it, all this as well, Jerry? I mean, I'm tracking myself, but are you also tracking? Uh, I would. Pr- I'm not tracking it. Um, I'm okay. tracking. But yeah, that's, I mean, that's I'm, the I'm reason why. Me. Yeah, that's the reason why I double-checked. I just want to make sure I had everything right. Yeah, no, I knew he, I knew you had 100 left. Okay. Yeah, trust me, as a as a oh, somebody who also DMs, trying to track just my own shit, much less all of your shit, would be basically fucking impossible. Yeah. That's right. All right, I'm ready to get this fishing rod. Yeah, I'm done all with right. what I was doing. All right. Uh is it are you guys just chilling out in the welcome center while he uh, has his fishing I rod? mean I went yeah. and grabbed the map and then I'm gonna try and go. See I'm gonna what... kind of meander around the group that I tried to establish myself with. So yeah, sure. I'm gonna go see what the waves look like. See if we can catch a quick one before the the group figures out what the rest they're give, what well what else they need to do. Yeah, uh, uh, I I also got my map. 
uh, and I'm just kind of wandering around town, um, aimless, not aimlessly, but just scoping it. Sure. Um, all right, Kevin, you walk in. Mason. I'll, I'll be back. Sorry, sorry Mason. <laughs> uh, Mason, you walk in. Uh, you see an elderly gentleman sitting in his rocking chair. Uh, just a good old fashioned bait and tackle shop. Uh, is there a is house. there a master there? No, master, master of the bait. No. <laughs> oh, okay. I walked into that. <laughs> oh. oh, a master baiter. Uh, um, hey, old timer. You doing all right today? Yeah, man. You know, I'm six feet above ground, so better than six uh, feet below. Absolutely. Hold the fuck up. Um, is this motherfucker floating? So I am. No. Um, the, tip of it, the tip of his head is six feet from the ground. Uh, okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'm, I'm new to the region to uh, get a, get a fishing rod and, and maybe some advice on the best, the best spots. Uh, if you've got any in mind. Yeah, uh, well, I got an old rod, a good rod, and a super rod. They all okay. catch you different shit. <laughs> ah, okay, so what... It, so he's a master yeah. of the rod. Where's the big rod? The what? The he's big not rod? Gonna show, not going to show him his big rod? <laughs> no, not no. not his big rod. No, right. the, master, the masturbator does not show his big rod to just anybody. Uh, and as far as good spots to fish, I suggest any body of water. There's always something in there. Okay, how much are the how much are the fishing poles? <laughs> I guess the the, <laughs> the 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 old rod is five hundred. The good rod twenty five hundred. The super rod five thousand. God damn! But enjoy Yikes. the magic cart, boy. Um. Let's go. Um, Get enough of them, grind them up in the candy. 900 left. Mm. Um, I would like an old rod. All right. And he brings you down a raggedy looking fishing pole. Nice. For 500. Cheers. Awesome. I hand him the money. Thank you, son. I appreciate it, old timer. You have a uh, you have a good rest of your day, sir. You too. And I walk out. Five hundred seems pricey for an old rod, boy. Yeah, shit. I was thinking the same thing. An old rod, fuck. You probably right. could have haggled him. Oh, is that a thing in this world? I'm sure it's a thing in every every RPG ever, oh, bro. It, it, yeah. yeah, but then we got to roll charisma checks and all that shit, right? So true, but that's that's why we have those oh, stats. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, yeah. like, but yeah, um, there'd be there'd probably be a some type of challenge. Yeah, charisma but like you can't haggle. Could, could I have haggled with the the shop salesperson? Probably. Too? Yeah. Oh fuck. Uh, right. side, sidebar real quick those prices uh, seem reasonable you know that one did right. that's why i just didn't care um i i finally got around to your picture of your uh new tattoo kevin and sick nasty bro yeah 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 dude i'm pretty I, I haven't seen the it. show but if it's oh, oh you haven't lit. seen high q yet yeah dude show's no. lit it's not it, it, i don't have it, crunchy so oh it's oh it was on, on netflix uh, but is it not on netflix down. anymore no nah, they pulled I it down i think not on either, yeah. Damn, dude, I'll just give you my Crunchyroll password Thanks. if it's that big a deal. High key's the shit. Oh, I'm sure it is, and I'll get crunchy eventually. I just haven't transitioned. Don't you have Funimation? It's not on there. But if isn't isn't there like uh, yeah, a universal you, you account at this it. point? No, you still have. It's still two separate subscriptions until Funimation shuts down. Then just cancel Funimation and move over to Crunchyroll. <laughs> Yeah, it's not that complicated. I don't know. It's, it's like, absolutely not. I just haven't done it. <laughs> or just like uh, find it for free online like I've everybody heard else. In my fucking life. I could probably YouTube it, you know. Yeah, it's probably on there somewhere. Or now that Twitter's DMCA thing is broken, it's probably on Twitter somewhere. Hey. All right, is it uh is it cool if I go fishing? Sure, man. Hell yeah. How does that work? 
Does that know. like does technically become like a Pokemon I mean, encounter? I'm, like, does it sure. is there a fishing rule for Pokemon encounters in that? I mean, I imagine it would if I got a nibble. I'm just, I'm chilling. I mean, yeah, I'm also, sure. That's, I also, mean, that's what I was curious. I was hoping uh, does, uh, DM had answers. Does the bait affect your probability of your encounter? No, the, like in the, the does. yeah, in the games, at least in the games that I played, is there? I don't, I don't think there's ever been a way to bait. No, there's not, but we're also not playing those games. Yeah, yeah, some games, you know, it might be, uh, instead of getting just better rods, you can also, like, if you want specific types of Pokemon, like, some might be more keen to worms, and they could incorporate something like that, which would be cool. Yeah, that's right. But, I mean, I'm down with just throwing a hook with a gold rod. I mean, mean, an old rod. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Whatever whatever DM says is cool with me. Yeah, I'm not. I sure fucking hope so, because he's God. Yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna go off the rod. So, boys, are you fishing? I am fishing. All right, you fill a nibble. Oh, roll me. Press A. Oh, roll roll? me. Two D six. Two D six. Oh shit! Was that just one? That was just one. So just add three to whatever you roll next. Uh Here, here, here. Can I just roll two D six now? All right, because I, I I realized what I did wrong. There we go. Yeah, so you are successful in nice. bringing the fish in. Uh, he is just a brown. Hey, ugly, what's up? It's me. I'm back. Ugly looking fish. A brown, ugly looking fish? That's not is it, is it so, a scroll? Hold on. Because it's not like fish? official, is everything going to be Pokemon in this? Like, there's not going to be regular ass animals? Yeah, everything you catch is going to be a Pokemon. Okay. Uh, Don't want to annoy anyone, but can you give me a quick rehash of what I missed? Really uh, nothing. Uh, he just bought an old rod for 500 bucks. Okay. And now he's fishing, and he caught is a it, fugly. Is it a scrout fish. or a stunfish? No, no. Uh, ugly Bro, little brown. Scrout would have been thug though if it was a scrout. Bro, I'm you, had to him. you had to snag him. Do I know what it is? Oh, Pokedex. If he Can he would have he would have told you if based on your region whether or not you recognize the Pokemon. I'm sure. It's so based on your region, you don't know what it is. So your character does not know what it is. Oh, bro. Let me, let me make sure. You're from, you're from Sina? Yeah, Sina. I mean, I'm sure you it can is... just tell us, and then in character, he can or can't know. Because I'm sure JC will just be right. like, oh, yeah, that's from Urseth. Because if it ain't the first fucking 151, I have no idea who the fuck it came from. Oh, well, I, I know all... Besides the thousands. specific, like, Alolan forms. It's like, oh, yeah, Alolan form Raichu. It probably came from Alola. Pass that, don't overestimate me. Yeah, you, you do know what it is, Kevin. It is... Nope. It is a Feebas. Oh, bro, snag. Feebas. Snag. You would appreciate that. Oh, because yeah. it becomes a melodic. Fucking mm-hmm. right, dude. All right, let's. Yeah, I've heard um, those are real. Good. They're fairy type, yeah. Or they can no, they're, they're, they're just they're straight what, water. What moves do I have available to me? Owen, oh, mechanically speaking, they're very good. They are very tanky. And they can uh, heal, s- stall wall, and heal. Oh, okay, awesome. cool. Um, yeah. I will. I guess enter battle right to weaken it, or is that a thing in this world? Uh, or do I just try to catch it. I mean, it is a literal fish out of water. It is just flopping around on the ground. And so, it happens to be ugly. <laughs> yeah. So I will leave that to you if you want to beat the shit out of it. Or yeah. well, so no, does, it's that, just, does that help? You know, just walk you, up you to it. Weaker, it. It's like, easier to get in the Pokeball. All right, I'll throw. Yeah, roll me 3d6. <laughs> I'll throw so, a Pokeball. I'm just kidding. We're throwing, one. throwing Pokeballs, oh. if it does not catch... Can we like pick up and then reuse that Pokeball? Uh, yeah, if it is like still available for you to get. Not, right. Like, I mean, like if the Feebas like, kicks it into the fucking water, he's he, he if he wanted to go swimming for it, but 
Yeah, no, he, you, you caught the Feebus. Nice. Dude, fucking right. Or. Oh, bum, bum, um, bum. I, don't we, I don't know if we. And now this, he needs a new character sheet. Does that, so in the new games, <laughs> when you catch a Pokemon, you still get experience for your other Pokemon. So does his Shinx get anything from this? No, Shinx didn't do anything. And are we operating with experience share? Oh, we already no. covered that. No, we're not. Right? Yeah. I remember that. Yeah, your Pokemon has to actively do something. Yeah. Yo, Melodic looks dope, though. Yeah, Melodic's cool looking Pokemon. <laughs> That's yes. lit. Yes. I'm but you're, with that. that just okay. means you're going to have to play the, like, traits game to get it to Beauty 5. So you have to make the Feebas beautiful. Yes. So good luck figuring out how to do that in the role play. <laughs> Every Pokemon is beautiful. That's that's why I like to take pictures of them. They're beautiful in their own way. Why well, do I feel like Kevin's going to be the bad guy by the end of go, this? There you go, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, somehow Ascension's going to be bad, but Mason's going to be worse. So, <laughs> <laughs> like, Ascension just, you know, they're trying their best, but, like, you know, they kill the whole rainforest. Ran Bro. all the Pokemon out, but Mason's like doing some weird shit with a Jinx my, in the fucking look, back dude, room. My, yeah. no. So one of them is leveling forests, but the other one is literally summoning demons from another dimension. <laughs> <laughs> no, my character is jolly by nature, dude. I'm just chill. I'm happy, bro. It's like I'm, I'm, I'm vibing. Surrounded by thing. all these beautiful Pokemon, huh? Hmm, <laughs> funky. Something. Wait a minute. Fishy. You just caught a phallic-shaped Pokemon in the end, <laughs> and I don't think I'm okay with it. You know? Melodic. Yeah, yeah we're just going to transition to Digimon and call it Dickmon. <laughs> Dickamons. All right, so, Dickamons. <clears throat> Dick it old monster. I guess I'll, I'll do the, the, in, the character input later, like when we're not, when yeah. we're not in game. Yeah. Um, so Because you're going to have to make you a whole character sheet and everything, too. Yeah. So we're we're gonna roll for stats on new Pokemon. Right? I was about to ask, how does that? Well, because yeah. I don't, I don't think I ever actually uh, finalized my character stats, even because I don't know what I'm supposed to be. Uh, we're all starters, right? Yeah, or whatever okay. the lowest is. Not lowest. Okay. It was um, starter because there's like beginner, which is even lower. Yeah. No, no, no. Beginner is higher than starter. Yeah, we started at the lowest. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. You're right. Yeah, you're right. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I do read rules. Oh. Awesome. I'm um, so glad that we can place... all see each other's character sheets, and all I can see is literally fucking nothing on everybody's but my own. Is oh. there a place where I can go to? Um, yeah, yeah, we're starters. To to like level up and train. Yeah, you can make your Pokemon run uh, laps. I mean, it's you can train. Anywhere in the world, man, it's not. You don't have to go to a gym or anything. Their world. No, is I know, your but like, it, uh, like in the fucking can so, I look uh, wild Pokemon and shit. If you want to improve, you need to look at the rule book and see what it means to improve as a trainer. Because improving as a trainer determines how much you can improve your Pokemon. So uh, it looks like starting stats for all Pokemon are set. Like their strength, dexterity, vitality, special. Insight. Yeah, their basic stats are set, but you can so you train. Don't you don't, but you don't roll for anything. Like when you catch a Phoebus, it's the same as all the other Phoebus. Uh, yeah. Right. Uh, but then there's it's like fight, survival, social that it doesn't have. You, so you get X number of points to allocate based on the suggested rank, I think, right? So yeah, once you've so trained them get, up to that well, rank. Well, it's not suggested rank, it'll be the rank that Jarrett chooses that they're at or yeah so then so jared are you going to have us roll for where those points get allocated i will probably are you just gonna be like, like uh, it's this i feel like that should be a role play thing like you're supposed to if you want to train how tough your pokemon is and you role play that if you want to train how fast your pokemon is no, they're talking about like when you when you catch a new pokemon Oh, yeah, okay. like if you I, it, like yeah, his yeah, yeah. like Kevin's new Feebas, right? Like, what are its fight survival social skills that it currently has? Right, I I still feel like that's something you can determine as a trainer. 
But it's, you can't because you've got to catch it that way. Well, mm, it's a, uh, these are things we can discuss later because we're not, I doubt, I don't think we're doing anything with Kevin's Feebass currently. No, uh, it'll we can probably figure that be out later. When we get into actual encounters, uh, it'll probably, I'll probably just already have them generated in the Pokemon. Because there's still the whole thing about you tearing them from their natural environment and forcing them to fight for you. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Let's not be a Debbie Downer there. Uh, yeah. We know that this is just animal <laughs> cruelty. We get it. But we're fucking 16-year-olds, so we don't understand. Okay? <laughs> I'm 20. <laughs> Who invited PETA? <laughs> yeah, right? Um, All right. So if PETA was here... They'd all be euthanized. Let's be real. <laughs> that's that's true. Okay. Stem cells. Uh, <laughs> okay, so so Mason caught his Phoebus. Um, yes. We've all talked to Beck. I'm wandering yes. around. Uh, um, Sl Slater, where are you at? What are you doing again? Surfing. Oh, that's right. Uh, I'm. I'm going to start trying to catch Pokemon. Is there a route yeah. anywhere nearby that I can do that? Oh, uh, yeah. We will probably save that route for the next session because I know it's getting a little later. Um, and I've got to generate all those Pokemon. Cool. So, Is there anything okay. else in town to realistically do? Um, no, I mean, there's a gym you can go to and talk. Is the gym like a badge giving gym? Uh yeah, it's one of them. Okay. Um, that's where I'm going. Yeah, I mean I'll I'll come out the water and go hang is out and see just to see what, what no, typing it's... do we know what typing the gym is? Uh well there's a giant dragon on the front of it, so Oh. Oh boy. Uh yeah, you, I'm not uh, gonna you, you into dragons? Uh, I'm just gonna I'm need... just gonna keep surfing now that I realize there's a giant dragon out in front of it. So So I have a question. Yeah, what's up? I have a lot of metagame knowledge about Pokemon. It, am I allowed to translate that to my character? Uh it depends on like like type advantages and stuff. Is that what you're asking about? Well I guess yes, on a baseline level type advantages because like I know a lot personally. Right, but I mean like I'm just trying to figure out like like what kind of what what kind of thing are what, you afraid what, what of? What kind like, of knowledge are you trying to figure out if you know or not? Pokemon's innate abilities, what their stats are relative to one another, like their ability oh well their their type advantages, what their uh the move sets are. I know that. You mean. probably you probably know the type advantage. You probably don't know their move sets. Okay. And realistically, you may not know, um, like what moves a given Pokemon really truly even has. Well, the reason I ask that is because like my character is trying to gun towards being a champion, and like IRL, I'm like a VGC competitive player, so that's the reason I'm asking how much my character would know. Right. I mean, like, you would know, like, the battle basics, but... Think about when you first started in the VGC. That's probably what you know. Uh, it's been a while. <laughs> yeah, I get it. I mean, it's not, I don't think, like, the VGC necessarily transfers over to this game anyway. No, no, no. I just mean, like... I'm a tournament player in Pokemon. I just, well, how much meta knowledge should I have? I'm a starter in this game, so like, like I mean, you know, type advantages. I think that's just generic Pokemon yeah. knowledge. Yeah, that's you fair. say that, but I have and, no fucking idea. Yeah, but I, I would assume your character knows. Yeah. No, like, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't hold that against you personally. Like, if you got in a battle, I would assume you knew the type of, and I would tell you the type of advantage if you wanted to know. Right. Outside the game, so your character knows in game because I think it's just pretty. It's pretty. It would basic. be an expected. Yeah, I mean, like knowledge you know, base. Yeah, I mean, like unless it's just like. like no, yeah, I, feel I you. think you. I think you would assume like you've watched battles on TV and so right. like you've 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 absorbed enough like outside commentary to know. 
Yeah, the basics of that. No, I feel you. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I had. Yeah. So you got a couple of you wanted to go into the gym, yeah? Uh, I'm gonna stay yeah. I'm gonna stay out. I don't like now that you've pointed out the giant dragon, I like look over and just see the giant dragon out in front and be like, Yeah, no, we're not fucking with that yet, bro. Yeah, I'll surf to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, exactly. I I'll surf in. to that, bro. Uh I asked Mason if he wants to go over and take pictures in front of the gym. It's the first one we've seen in the region. Uh, oh, yeah, dude. I'd love to do that. Yeah, I'm going to solo Dolo and just start trying to catch more Pokemon, I guess. Okay. So you're heading off to the route we will cover next session. Yep. Um, are y'all going into the gym or are you just taking pictures outside the gym? Uh, take pictures and then discuss it with Mason whether or not we want to go in. I'm not going to drag, you know, I'm not going to go in solo. If he wants to go, you want to go, Mason, let's do it. I mean, like, you... I I will say this outside of game. It's not like if you walk in the doors, you, like, get trapped into a battle. Like, it is... It is still a building. I see you... It's just still a lobby. Like, oh, I'm the cheerleader. We got this door. Fuck you. You walk in, Jared's just, like, white out. And then it's like, so, you wake up in the Pokemon Center. What kind of gym do you think this was? <laughs> so with, with my aspirations being, um, uh, being great and all that, I do try to coerce Mason into doing the gym, going in at least looking around, seeing what's in there, getting the lay of the land. And if it's a way above our heads, which it is, we know that, we'll leave. Uh, roll a persuasion check. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I mean, you can you can make him you can make him try to persuade you. That's true. You don't have to do anything you don't want. Yeah. To. No, 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 dude. I'm I'm about it. Look and like. Um, maybe you'll take a rifle you know, butt to the if, nose. If, Who knows? If in, maybe you might be able to get like a little advantage trying to see like what types of Pokemon. You never know. I see a lot of Pokemon out here. What harm could it do? Let's go ahead and walk in. And then Jarrett says that the door's locked. No, you can go in. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. Um, debating and figuring it out. He's like, nah, it's locked. <laughs> would I be, like, I know in the games, like, if you're surfing, you hit random encounters. Is that something I would be dealing with? Or is that something, like, I would have to ask you if I can have a random encounter? Uh, I think if you're just trying to surf, uh, yeah. I would leave it without encounters. Now, if you're like, hey, I want to go. Like go looking for like. Pokemon. Okay. Yeah. yeah no, no, like no, no. I'm, I'm just I'm looking for ocean stuff, but like you're just trying to have a yeah, good time I'm with Squirtle. Yeah. I'm not gonna Okay, cool. I was just curious. Yeah. Twenty five yeah. tentacruel appear. <laughs> <laughs> oh um, look, you pulled up a wild manaphy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so All right, so we're, we're, that really sent this town into a fucking frenzy. Yeah, so you guys walk in and this is a very illustrious looking building marble head to toe uh granite countertops just absolutely to the nine of a gym uh the first thing you see when you walk in is uh a picture of a garchomp and a dragonite it's they're just yeah they're just kind of it's just two murals or like tapestries raining down um and you see yeah you see some people walking around uh and then you get kind of called over by the receptionist and she's like hey are you guys here for a gym challenge uh no ma'am not yet uh i was really just interested in in uh seeing the the gym it's our first gym we've been to in the regions um, I just wanted to, to check it out and and see what you guys had going on. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait. No, you go. So uh, I was I was just gonna chime in with him. Yeah, uh, just here to look around for the moment. Um, you know, we're just starting out, trying to trying to get the lay of the land, see see what a, a gym looks like. It looked pretty dope from the outside, so just wanted to stick our heads in. Uh well, thank you very much. We do take pride in our gym leader, Clint. Uh, he almost was a champion, um, but hasn't quite gotten that far yet, but he has 
been given the honor to to run one of the gyms here in Trinitas. So we're very proud, uh, and he's he's made the city very proud. Is Clint here? Uh yeah, he should be around somewhere. Um would you like to speak to him? If he's, he's around, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, sure. She it's a little buzzer and she's like, Clint, we have a couple out of town visitors that are looking to become uh gym challengers one day and they just wanted if they could pick your ear. Uh and then you hear a buzz and he's like, Yeah, I'll be down in a sec. Um couple minutes roll by and you see a guy very much around uh beck's age roll down uh he's again business casual uh rolled up button down uh khakis things like that very very professional looking uh hey guys you you my receptionist said you had some questions uh yeah, I was uh really interested in the area. Like I like I told your receptionist, we we just came in today, um, and I was wondering if maybe you had any tips, for, uh, you know, potential future fellow, uh, uh, trainers. Uh, you just have to grind. Um, I'm pretty friendly with all of the gym leaders here. Uh, I don't believe any of us are necessarily a pushover. Um, and then I know the Elite Four is, it's on a different level. Um, I've only gotten through it once. Uh, so you just have to be ready. So yeah. If you, oh, go ahead. I was just going to say in character, uh, yeah, we, we actually got the chance to meet Beck today. And he, he kind of gave us the same uh the same tip that you did I, I really appreciate that yeah you don't want to run into beck on a bad day let me tell you that oh so does that does that mean that you lost to beck after you beat the elite four that's why you're not the champion yeah everyone's lost to beck uh i mean he our former champion uh for him was pretty solidified uh i had gone a couple of rounds with him uh, can never complete it out. Uh, I didn't have some of my Pokemon I do now. Um, so I'm a lot stronger than I was then, but Beck showed up and it's, I uh, just pretty much decimated everyone who's, who's come across him really. How he's, recently did Beck show up? Uh, he's been champion for about three years. I, have you, have you challenged him in those three years, or were you, was your battle prior? Uh, yeah, I did the Elite Four last year, oh, okay. made it made it through, and then, you know, it hurts the pride to say, but it wasn't really close once I got to him. Has he, um, has he always been sponsored by Ascension Corps? Uh, no. So he came over from Galar, uh, and... You know, we're not exactly the biggest in the public eye um, as far as challenging and things like that. Um, and he took it a little more serious than the region had had, which I think was an advantage that we needed to push ourselves. Right. Um, um, but then he started talking to Gareth, and they kind of decided, you know, we could push Pokemon knowledge. We could kind of put Trinitas on the map, show the world that you can coexist peacefully with Pokemon. If we had strong challengers like Beck, like he's good for the public, good for the public image. Uh, and so they kind of struck up a deal to, he's kind of like their billboard. Nice. He, well, talking to him earlier, he seemed uh, he's nice. Um, is that, was that just a, like for the cameras type of deal? I mean, you know, I want to say it is, but the worst part about him is he's so nice. And then he kicks your ass. Like, oh, you want to hate you, that. You, you want to hate him, but he really is. He's, he's a good champ. Uh, I know, I don't know if you follow competitive Pokemon worldwide, but him and Leon are pretty good friends. Uh, I know he's still friendly with the old champion um 
so he's just he's just an all around good dude. I know I'm not there, but did you say Leon? Yeah. yeah. Do we know who that is? Yeah, I would assume if you. I mean, Leon's a pretty big Galar champion. Yeah, oh, so. I again, like if it's not Kanto. Oh, yeah, so Leon is probably the most publicly known champion. Okay. In the world. You keep like pausing and freezing, Jarrett. Yeah, you did freeze a little bit yeah, when you were talking. Uh, I don't know. My, my camera Seth, you're sucks. muted. I hear him now. Yes, I am. Oh, but yeah, you, you, would, you would know Leon is a badass. Okay, cool. Uh, what was his what Leon was Leon's was like typing? Super Bowl soccer game level of worldwide. Did you knowledge. just say Super Bowl soccer game? Yeah, uh, I don't I don't know sports, dude. Nice. Leave me alone. Oh my god. Yeah, just, um, uh, um what's his typing? Leon Leon has Or is he like hard, a champion, so yeah. he's got everything. He's the, yeah, he's yeah, got yeah. a little bit of everything. He's not okay. a single type. Cool. But so he's what, what is the, the final for thing for soccer? The world cup. Uh, I mean the world cup. Yeah, World Cup soccer game. Leon would be the person who won that, basically. <laughs> um in character, I was like, I'm, I'm like, I say, uh, so Clint, if you, if, if you had to get, if you, if you have any, any tips on how to, on how to take you down for, for future, for our future, uh, attempts at going for the gym badge, uh, what would you say? Uh, he just kind of chuckles to himself, and he's like, "Bring your A game." All right, learn yeah. how to take down a dragon. Um, Clint, are, I don't know. If are this you? Would be... Go ahead, JC. Clint, are you sponsored by Ascension? Uh, no, I'm not. Why not? Uh, you know, they don't really sponsor outside of the Elite Four. Ah, uh, okay. Um. This is like an out of context question. Are gyms here where like you have to fight a bunch of sub trainers before you hit the final trainer? Like in the uh, games, or is this more like the show where like you just roll up to a gym and you would just so fight the guy? Some of the games also have it to where you have to do like another puzzle before you actually fight the gym leader. <laughs> no, I mean they might I might incorporate some puzzles just so if someone's doing a gym challenge, it's not like they just sit there and everyone else has to wait. Right. Uh, but mo most of the time, it's going to be you roll in. You're freezing again. Yeah. You say, like, I'm here to issue. I'll they'll check your date. Wait, can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Um, so it's just going to be you roll in. You issue the challenge. They check your credentials. And then you go go into it. I'm not going to make you jump through hoops. Okay. Are spectators allowed in the actual gym yeah. challenge itself? I mean, maybe gym dependent. Yeah. But... Okay. Yeah, no, I mean, it's it's like a it'd be like a pretty, we'll say like every gym takes challengers on like a certain day. And so right. like the locals can go in and watch the this stuff like oh Clint Clint's battling today it's Friday so they can go watch the guy do his thing and support the the gym. Gotcha. Okay. Nice. All um, right. Well, thanks, Clint. Uh, you know, really appreciate you letting us look around and um, <clears throat> taking the time to talk to us. I'm sure you got lots of stuff to do. Um, my last question before I head out is, where can I get a dragon? Uh, at the tippy tops of the mountains, my friend. All right. Time to head up. Get the hiking boots on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I'll see I'll see you guys when you get your eight. Or I guess yeah. your seven. All right, brother. Thanks, Clint. All right. See you guys. Thanks. Okay. See you later. We roll out of there. Um, All right. So, so is there like a like a crit path of like we should probably start with a specific gym that's going to be easier theoretically or is this kind of like scarlet violet where realistically every gym is available from the get do you uh, even want to challenge the gyms 
I mean, what do you mean? You're talking to me? Yeah. My character doesn't really care a whole lot, but like, if I'm like, if you guys are all going to be doing it, you know, there'd probably be part of me that does, but I'm just thinking more of like, as a human being, like, should we be considering questions like, what's going to be, you know, as a beginner with a f starting level Pokemon, you know, because like his statement was, we'll see you after you get your other seven. That means he's probably not expecting us to roll up with our fucking level three Squirtle and try to fight his dragons. You know what yeah, I mean? That would so be like, a pretty is safe there a assumption though? Right. I think he's uh, just scared. I mean, because so... if this is a major hub where people are coming into, right, you'd kind of in, you know, theory this could be a first gym for a lot of people right back. but if it's not if he's expecting kind of to be the last gym and put up a good fight like because he's got six pokemon and i only have one like this is clearly not a fight i'm gonna win so like are there other gyms that are gonna be we'll say l maybe easier like one to two pokemon that we can maybe type advantage over or something like that so Every other gym outside of him will kind of level match. So they'll scale right? accordingly. Yes. Yeah, so okay. you'll you'll essentially walk into the gym and they're gonna be like, Oh yeah, how strong are your Pokemon? And you'll say, Oh, we're beginners. Say, okay, well then I'll use these Pokemon and he'll go and he'll pick. Gotcha. Okay, cool. But if, um... but if you roll into that same gym and it's later in the game and you're like, okay, what level you're like, oh, you're this, I'll use this set of Pokemon. Gotcha. Clint's, Clint's the only one that does not level match in the region. Okay. Cool. So there's kind of the, uh, the whole mindset that was addressed in the newest Pokemon games is the gym leaders will kind of try and challenge you. Their whole deal is to challenge, not overpower you. Right. Right. Yeah. Like you're not just gonna walk in. I mean, you still might lose the battle, but it's not gonna be like, oh, this is Gym One. Okay, here's six uh, fucking dragons. Yeah, here's six dragons. It'll yeah, be like because oh, you can walk back later after you beat all the gyms. And you're like, well, I had a full team of six overpowered Pokemon the whole time, but you weren't ready for them. Right. Yeah. It's it's that very much that concept. Like you okay. can go to any cool. gym you want, uh, and they'll kind of cater scales to correctly. Your, yeah, you'll cater to your party okay except for except the gym we're currently one. yeah ex except for him he he is kind of he's bitter solid. because he's not champion <laughs> well I won't, I won't say he's bitter but he's kind of solidified as the last step right in the journey before the elite four and unless you're just fucking say, he, like we he, wouldn't he go is, to him first yeah he essentially gatekeeps i got right? you unless you just That's roll in right. confident with a couple fucking melodic yeah <laughs> Yo, I happened to catch hey, Don't touch right stupid up my Melodic, bro. No, Melodic are good against Dragon because they have Ice and Fairy type moves. Oh, okay. Which are good against Dragon. Not talking and shit, I'm just melodic. saying you can do it faster than the rest of us. Oh. Yeah, and Milotic happen to be quite tanky. <laughs> yeah, they are thick. And phallic shape. <laughs> and, and phallic shape. Uh, but unless there's anything else you guys want to do in this town, that was pretty much the session. No. I think I'm set. I'll, I mean, I'm assuming after... Pokemon are all full health currently, just coming off the boat. Yeah, so there's no reason to visit the Pokemon Center. Yeah, yeah like, outside after of just a visit I do my to check round in. of oh. trying to catch new Pokemon, I'm probably going to, like, hit the Pokemon Center and talk to people. But for the most part, no, my focus is building out my team. Sure. Uh, can I grab my maps? Yeah, I yeah. assumed you already did before you went and got okay. your mission. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. Laws around the same page. Yeah. Awesome. Well, yeah, thank well, you yeah. for the session. Yeah. yeah, thanks, bro. How do we do how do you how do you do XP? Is that per session? How does that work? There's no XP it's in like this. A, yeah, there's yeah. XP in this game. Okay. It's more just like Jared's like you guys are all now beginners. Well, actually, there's a threshold for, like, beginner, amateur, and all that. Yeah, it's certain achievements, but it also says that Storyteller may add or change achievements required, so. Right. Mm -hmm. So, it's up to him, but also there are thresholds, if we go by that. Yeah. So, Jarrett, how much grinding are you going to require us to do? Uh, 
Oopsie like, put a head of holes. <laughs> like, if I just want to, like, make my Squirtle become a fucking Blastoise, can I just, like, sit on Route 1 and just be like, I'm going to sit here and kill everything that moves until he becomes a Blastoise? I mean, or can we just, like, be like, hey, we I grind for, like, 10 minutes and I just roll a dice and get that much benefit out of it? So it's 15 yeah. battles to evolve Pokemon. Mm-hmm. Um, now, okay, go ahead. Yeah, so... I mean, if you want to sit on Route 1 and farm, you can. But I'll, I'm going to make the Pokemon a little more realistic. So if they just, like, see you slaying their friends, they're probably not going to run up on you. Well, also, as, in as between often. us getting the evolutions, we're not leveling up. So yeah. it, there's always the possibility that we just get whited out. Right, but I think it's more just like, you know, in the game, you know, and it's it's hard to always, you know, just be like, oh, yeah, well, in the game. But, like, there's definitely been times where you're just outside the fucking city that you're in, and you're like, oh, I need, like, three levels on my fucking dude so that I can level him up and blah, 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 blah. It's like, do we have to sit and go through three full battles, or can it be like, hey, I just want to try to kill three things. Can I just, like, roll for it and then see how those battles go without playing out the entire battle every time? Um, we'll see how it, it goes. Like if it's a reasonable request, like, oh, I'm only one battle away from evolving right. and I just, can I find something real quick? But I'm not just going to be like, oh, I really want to blast voice. Can I just sit here and kill 48 Caterpies? Right. Well, then there's the other caveat where it's like, even if you evolve it to that next level, if you don't like meet the requirement to command them, they'll just ignore you. Right. Yeah, no, Absolutely. But I mean, like, I'm yeah. looking at, like, potentially a move that I need it to learn, and it needs three battles. Like, do I have to play out three battles, or can I just, like, roll a D6, anything but a one, I win the battle. Roll that three mm. times, right? I get three wins, I take X amount of damage from the fights, I have to heal up with a potion, but I get my move. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, if it's something reasonable like right. that, I can probably well, accommodate it. Yeah, and I'm, I'm sure as, it's going to be... As long as we're not just, like, stalling the story so everyone right. can just keep everything moving over level yeah yeah that's I, need a, I need a moonstone anyway so i have to play plot to to <laughs> involve yeah i have to find a firestone i like i like developing the story though so like, right i, like I don't do a balance of both levels yeah i don't and, i don't think and, it's gonna come up a whole lot yeah i was no, to go to bed i feel that yeah uh yeah, Kevin roll Kevin Gallo roll me an athletics. He froze a little bit. Sorry. He's thinking. Yeah, I got it. Athletics check. Yeah. Uh athletics a thing? Or er, roll what's what's your uh, Oh yeah, there's athletic and survival. Yeah. So that's generic roll. Uh, skill, athletic. I guess. Does that go or no? Because it's detached. Modifier. It didn't. It did not. Oh, there we go. It uh, just says generic. Failure on roll. one dice. I rolled a two. I was giving, yeah, I was giving you a training roll since you and Squirtle surfed. Oh, fair enough. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. I know it'll be a couple weeks before we do this again because I know everyone's going on vacation and stuff, right? Yeah, I, I won't be here till the first one in January, whenever that is. Um, sure. So we won't do this on the 20th? No, because JC's right. over here. So the third, following the every two weeks, January 3rd would be the next one, and I'll be here for that. Okay. So, but cool. we'll still have, oh boy, Cyberpunk. Um, Except for the one on the 27th, right? Yeah, because we'll be in, so we'll have Cyberpunk next week, and then basically we'll have two weeks next. off. 
two weeks yeah. off and then we'll start with Pokemon on the third. Right. Yeah. yeah. So we'll maintain our kind of rotation. Um, it'll just be two weeks without, um, we might do something, um, cyberpunk esque because I'll realistically, Jarrett, you'd be the only one who needs to phone in potentially, um, yep. on the 27th. Um, but we'll just have to play that one by ear. Cause I'm only going to have at best, probably my shitty laptop and that thing doesn't stream real good. So, right. We'll just have to see how things go. Um, but yeah, so, uh, don't bank on it, but it just depends on how things go. Sure. Um, and then I'll, I'll get some encounters and stuff. I know this one wasn't super encounter heavy. Right. Uh, so I'll get some. No, encounters I liked it. I liked it. I like the plot. I like the characters, all that stuff. I'm, uh, well, thank you. I'm definitely IRL suspicious of, uh, as Asmo day corp. Mm-hmm. But yeah, anything that sounds like it's shooting for a higher power, I am yeah. out of character. Super set, uh, suspect. Suspicious. Super suspicious. Yeah. yeah. In character. I don't give a fuck. Like they're just making prices cheap, bruh. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I'll buy their product. Put so their sketches. Before I stop recording, we'll do uh, shout outs for folk. So, Jared, if oh. you want to, sh- sh- or Kevin, if you guys want to shout yourselves out to start with. Uh, uh, yeah, we do a <laughs> movie podcast every week on Thursday called Silence Your Cell Phones. Um, pretty much cover any TV or movies we've watched. Uh, there's some big releases coming out, so if you guys are into movies and stuff, give us a listen. And Spotify is always still way behind. <clears throat> um, you know, dude, one day I'm going to do it without telling you, and then you're going to make that joke, and then I'm going to shit on you. No, because I have you followed on Spotify, and it'll notify me that there's new episodes, you fuck. Nope. Um, <laughs> and then there's the Travelers on the Omnibus that are on Spotify, Anchor, Google Podcasts and something else. Saga. I don't remember. They'll tell you on the Very podcast. Efficient. Just listen to it on Where Spotify. You can hear a podcast pretty much. Um, Apple, maybe? I think on Apple. Um, also, don't obey Kevin. Not uh, but they are a field trip through nerd and pop culture. So go hang out with them. Um, it's friends of the stream. Uh, Jay, Brady, Ethan, and... Well, I don't know if Brady's a friend of my stream anymore, but... Uh, Jay, Brady, Ethan, and uh, Jody. Jody. Jody, and then Jody also does Fearology as a podcast. Uh, I guess he hasn't had an episode in a while, but I think there's one coming soon. So if you're in the horror movies and shit, check that out. Um, I'm not gonna shout out MacNard Gaming. I like MacNard Gaming, but they don't let me do anything over there for free right now. So. <laughs> Uh, oh, don't, don't forget Brendan Fraser's movie comes out on Friday and everyone needs to go watch it to support Brendan Fraser we do love Brendan mm-hmm. Fraser he is a part of the 1999 classic hit film The Mummy unbelievable probably not something I'm going to go watch but uh, anyways uh, thanks for hanging out in the stream um, thanks everybody we'll be thanks doing guys. This, guys. this every other week obviously holidays are going to be unique But other than that, uh, thanks for hanging out. We'll catch you.